I might back. Probably. Always a good time. Take this chat away. Wait. This chat away. Hi! Damn. Freaking Doctor Who. Nobody got to see why she's so hated by me. Oh well. Ooh. Hi, Choppy! Do I need to make a new announcement? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? YouTube saw you stream the whole episodes? Will you reach 8 likes again? Will I reach 8 likes again? I don't know. That's why you should give me a thumbs up right now. <laughs> With me challenge what can we do okie dokie bags yep mm, I have to pee for a change Okay, I have to pee. Fuck! Why didn't I go pee before I started stream again? Doctor, you like Doctor? No, Doctor. Yes, <laughs> Doctor. Yes, always. <sighs> the door was always open, right? But damn. We can't watch that. What can we watch? 
Jean de Barry. Jean de Barry. Du Barry. Dr. No, don't stream me. Uh, uh. I really want to, though. I really want to. <laughs> uh, but it's so good. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. All right. All right. You can watch one of your own streams. <laughs> Hi, Shade. Ah, there's Feral. Feral over here. Thumbs of Feral. That was me. Hi. That was me. You should. Oh, he got me. I see him. I've got these cheeseburgers, man. Oh, is that me? That's me, isn't it? Apples. Man, this, Apples. This person is bloody good at uh, headshots. I tell you that. Oh, I threw that. No! I, don't see I can't like it. I've got these cheeseburgers, man. This is also me, by the way. I think. Yeah, it is. I'm in the chopper. I'm flying the chopper. I think I'm flying the chopper. Am I flying the chopper? I think I might be flying the chopper. Oh, I jumped out. Oh, no. I was flying a the chopper. Then I jumped out. Oh, no. I jumped out. Pew, 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 pew. He's gonna, he's gonna kill me. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew. What else does he have? That's me. I don't know. Uh, there was something else. Is that Warzone 1? No, it's Warzone 2. This? This is Warzone 2. This is Almazra. It's right by Almazra city. Right outside. We were chasing this guy. Wait. Oh, I jumped out. Oh, no. Is that Warzone 1? I don't know why, but the game felt slippery AF. Warzone 1? Oh, no. I jumped out. Or... Or Warzone 2. He's gonna, sh he's gonna kill me. Pew, 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 pew. It looks better from... I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. This? Oh, oh I jumped out. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. oh, no. I jumped out. Oh, my God. Okay, it wasn't that great of a clip. failed successfully. <laughs> oh, I jumped out. Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. I jumped out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mission failed successfully. <laughs> ah, I can't mark. 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 Oh, Jesus. I hate listening to myself. It's a horrible, horrible thing. Oh yeah, that guy commented on on that guy on the other side commented on this, didn't he? Yeah, 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 that guy. Okay, choppy. Oh. Um. What is that? A ladder? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a ladder. It's a ladder! <laughs> I can't even see. I think you have to buy him back. That's my older brother. Oh. That's cool though. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Can I just... It's really bad to stream Warzone. Nobody will come to your stream. But it's really good content as shorts. Warzone Resurgence shorts have gotten me way more subscribers than any other game. Uh, shorts of other games. Yeah. Let's get shorts content. Shugo is so cute, right? I know fuck TikTok, but you can use it to push your content on it. Uh, yeah, I've tried. It doesn't get the same success um, as on YouTube. And I've I've heard another streamer say that that TikTok will will have you buy like um. They want you to pay for exposure at a certain point. They will lower your your visibility and make you pay for it. For exposure. You heard people say TikTok pushes videos a lot. Yeah, I mean, who, who's right and who's wrong? You can't really trust what people say, to be honest. You gotta fact check. From your limited knowledge. Yeah. Oh, sure is a nice person from your limited knowledge. She's so cute, doll. She's so cute. She's adorable. She was my queen. Shugo Bell. I'm not the leader. I'm not cut out to be a leader, okay? God, I edited this video like that. Holy shit. Why did I do that? No, I didn't. I don't remember. You pick a place. I always make other people choose because they always want to make me choose. But when other people want to choose, they don't really let me choose. They're, when other people actually choose a place they're very comfortable with choosing places so they just do it for me <laughs> but if you try making me choose i will make you choose as well we will rotate oh, shit. Oh, damn, dude. Sheesh. <gasps> yes the best moment of my life in gaming Yeah! That was so awesome! Oh, I wanna like my own videos, but I'm not like them. Oh, David? I know everybody thinks I'm very cut up about Dyphon. It's not true. I'm not actually very cut up about Dyphon. It's not a huge loss. Lith, on the other hand. I miss Lith. I don't miss Dyphon. Dyphon wasn't in my life a lot for me to get emotionally attached. <laughs> you never played this, but you choose every time until someone else asks. <laughs> Where's Lith? We had an argument! It was a stupid argument! We both know it was a stupid argument, but we're also both stubborn, so we don't talk to each other. On the principle of us both being stubborn. We don't hold any bad blood between... We don't hold a grudge against each other. Heh <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I miss lit for you, but I, yeah, but I miss lit for me, you know. You see, you hate him, damn son. It's just people keep asking. I understand that people keep asking because I haven't really made an official statement. <clears throat> but yeah, I miss lit, but it's the principle of the matter. Okay. All right. Like Lith and I, I bet he misses you too. I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think so too. But uh, we're just gonna keep having those little weird arguments, and unless one of us, unless both of us, decide to be less stubborn, then it's just gonna happen over and over and over and over again. It's a two-way street, and I, I really should have talked to him about it, but I am actually limiting his growth in my own because I'm not choosing to talk about it. I hate how self-aware I can be sometimes. Stubborn? Did I hear my name? <laughs> Funny, yeah. Perhaps. What argument? I don't want to talk about it because it's so stupid, okay? That's between me and Liv. I'm not telling you. I've told some people. I'm not telling you on stream. Hell no. Hell no. If I tell it on stream, it'll exist forever on the internet. I'm not doing that. Unless it's on Reddit underneath a anonymous name. Yeah. <laughs> Lita Gu is actually going to bed now. I'm very pleased. Yeah, I've told people who asked in my DMs. Or, well, not, not really. I told uh, Melvin in the DMs. Hi, Stoned! Good evening, Stone. How are you doing? They were comparing cups sizes, but couldn't agree on who has bigger ones. Yeah, it, yeah, that's exactly what happened. How did you know? Why do you want him to go to bed so bad? Nita and I was up all night. Yes. Yeah, he had a really hard time going to bed. <laughs> At a point where I just said stop. It's 7 a.m. We're going to bed now. You can do whatever you want to do with the battle pass tomorrow when you've woken up. So we both went to bed. He fell asleep at 9 a.m., woke up at 11 a.m., just a couple hours later, and then he's been up since then. So he's had, what, a couple of hours sleep? Two. <laughs> Two hours sleep. He has been up since 11 a.m. till now. Now he's going to bed. That's unhealthy sleep schedule. Indeed it is. Yeah. If you talk with him again, it would be like nothing happened in like 20 seconds. Yeah, I know. I, it would be. But it's just... Lith and I can't keep having these tiffs. Is Tiff's the word? Probably. We cannot do it. We can't. It has to change. Honk. 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 <laughs> honk. Wait, Honk? Okay. You don't want that to be your name, Hawk. You don't want Honk to be your name. But honk? Maybe. <laughs> How does those two have such different meanings? <laughs> honk honk. Gosh. 
please consider giving this stream a thumbs up considering we had to restart because i watched some stuff that's copyright um i got suspended and had to restart stream so please give this stream a thumbs up so i can get back to eight likes <laughs> yeah honk honk sounds like an old car noises a good old car or a bad old car Damn, dude. <laughs> uh, yes, achievement. Oh, damn, dude. Why well, you don't want to watch CS Go video? I just want to watch myself, you know. I just want to be a little bit narcissistic and watch, watch myself, okay? Like, look at that gorgeous, concentrated face! Look at that color on those fringes! Oh my god! Look at that beautiful poop! Listen to that melodic, beautiful voice! <laughs> I don't even know where I'm being watched from. Oh, there. There they are! <laughs> this deserves more likes and views. Just saying. Oh, that was so It's working! Well, damn! Yeah! Awesome, awesome. Let's not talk about that. Watch comedy. Beautiful poop. Yes, beautiful poop. Ahem, ahem. Oh, you just woke up. Stoned. You too, huh? Bro. <laughs> CSGO. You want me to watch CSGO? A lot of people are missing. Oh, it's that guy. Uh, War Owl. War Owl. The War Owl. You good at making shorts? Are missing with Counter -Strike. Thank you. But in what way? I know you like my titles. Sometimes. I mean, I sometimes think they're good too. Sometimes. Was awake since Friday 4 a.m. To yesterday 5 p.m. Oh. Oh. I I honestly don't know what to think about fucked up sleep schedules anymore. I personally have given up on it. But like I also I also have a feeling that I'll just be more awake and feeling better if I had a permanent sleep time with a permanent uh, wake up time in the morning. No, if I woke up in the morning, I'd probably feel better. But holy shit, it fucking sucks when depression hits and you can't sleep anymore. I gave up on sleeping. <sighs> the truth about counter oh strike two actually is and it is absolutely not their fault but do not worry friends the war owl is here to make the war owl understandable when the limited test first came out and everybody got to see counter strike 2 it just looked like global offensive you got the same guns the same gameplay the same map but it's actually a completely new game it just doesn't look like it right now the name is confusing it's the fifth main game in the series but it's called two in my opinion they should have just called it counter strike and set it up to be the definitive counter strike game by the way the Hi. war owl plushie Aww. is available for one more week and then it's gone forever check out if i had a plushie what would it be my younger brother told me to start aim training for for cs2 i'm not sure that using aim lab is is uh will help me 
Yeah, if I had a plushie, what would it be? Chicken plushie? Meh. Have you been? I'm a pretty spoiled person. My dad has always pretty much given me things that I wanted. <laughs> pretty much. Very enabling, enabling of him. <clears throat> it's embarrassing to say a hot plushie. Well, yours would be. I've always wanted to build a bear, but I never got to. I never got to. That never took me. Use Kovac. Aim lab doesn't help. Yeah, maybe. Don't know. I've always wanted to build a bear. And like, I'm not going to get the same enjoyment from building a bear now that I'm grown up as I would have when I was a kid. Do you know? You have your humongous octopus. <laughs> build a bear shade, get it done. But I won't get the same enjoyment. I won't have that childish memory and emotion from it <sighs> adults can build bears too yeah but when you're a child there is also the joy attached the unbridled joy of making something like that in your childhood i don't get that now okay now <laughs> i just feel lonely <laughs> Okay, I just feel weird and lonely if I go make a bear on my own. The bear that I build won't have any significant feeling... Won't have a significant sentimental feeling attached to it. It's a mentality thing all in your head? Yeah, it's all in my head, but it's also valid. It's a valid feeling. So... I don't want to build a bear because when I make the bear eventually I will put it on the shelf and forget about it okay the happiness from the childhood is gone that wish is gone like building a pump like carving a pumpkin that childish feeling will not be there and it's sad I make it, I feel sad about it what if you build a bear with a kid then I feel very happy for a kid, because the kid will get that feeling of joy. But I won't feel the same. Also, we don't have a Build-A-Bear store anymore. You have beliefs and imagination as a child? It's all ruined as adults? Pretty much. Yeah. Not a lot of stuff like that survives here. <laughs> Build a bear did not survive. Uh, ben and Jerry's, uh, I don't know. Built, yeah. Ben and Jerry's didn't quite survive either. They had this ice ice cream um place at the mall. Ben and Jerry's ice cream place. It did not survive. Donuts, like elaborate donuts, they do not survive. The stores do not survive. <laughs> they don't exist. To my younger brother's disappointment, by the way. Oh, right! My brother got his noise-canceling headset! <laughs> he used to be able to hear me when I walked into his room. Because his door is open, Choppy. Choppy, his door is open. That's an open invitation to walk in. How am I gonna ask for permission if he can't see me? Ben and Jerry gone? Yeah, the, the place where they sold, like, Ben and Jerry and Scoops. But they still have Ben and Jerry's in, in, you know, in the, I don't know. Whoa, congrats, Shade Brother. Well, I can see guy's room that's illegal. I'm disabled. Wait, what? Cups. Yes, cups. Sorry. Yeah, cups. Yeah. No. It isn't, you have to make extra noise escape warning. But it's got noise cancelling headset now. It doesn't hear me when I walk in. <laughs> Not only goes to Swiss career on mental health. Too fucking late, bro. Too fucking late. My mental health. 
mental health was shot ages ago. I'm disabled. <laughs> Yeah. Is this one of those squishable plushies? Is it? Squishable? Squishy? Plushy, squishy? Squishy, plushy. I've got one. Chalky gave me one. I sleep on it sometimes. Very soft. And squishy. Even more now, because I've slept on it. But yeah. Now we never got to find out what my plushie would be. I feel like an otter would look that good. <laughs> Did you hear about the guy who was busy with himself and when he was done? His mom and then left a cup of tea by his bed. <gasps> It would have been embarrassing anyway. It would have been embarrassing anyway. It would have been awkward anyway. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Anyway, it would have been weird. At least he finished, okay? Before he felt the embarrassment. You know? I'd say that's a plus. At least he didn't know until it was finished. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah and you got some tea right all plus in my book win-win <laughs> minus tea embarrassment it's a natural thing it's natural you know Hmm. It's embarrassing when a parent, especially mom, catches son busy. Can't look into mom's face again. It's a natural thing. Like, you're... You become a parent, you're probably aware that it could happen. It's probably going to happen. You know? Natural but embarrassing. Got the link it has the to happen at least once. When Valve makes a new engine and they want to ship it, they launch it with a new Half-Life game. They I Half thought they were gonna they make new maps. They didn't really do that this time. The first game was Dota 2 that was ported over to the Source 2 engine. I guess you could say that Half-Life You Alex nearly got caught yourself by your mom when you were team, not gonna lie. On this. Ah, CS2 so it didn't happen to you. game development for the past three years. <laughs> this and Neon Prime. So there's been three... Okay, but listen. If my brother's door is... Wide as open. He ain't doing no weird ass business in there, but playing games on his computer with friends because his headset is on. So he's talking to people, okay? Okay. I'd be more worried if his door was closed. I don't really go into his room when his door is closed. That usually means I am... I forgot the word. The word disappeared in my mind. I'm busy. That's not the word I want to use. But I'm busy. I'm unavailable. That's the word I want to use. Oh, God. That's gross, Shotham. Please. Come on. You say so, Shade? Yuck. Yuck. Come on. An open door is an open door. If you want to have private time, close it or get your own apartment. Yeah. Yeah. I don't walk into his room if his door is closed. <gasps> yes, I do actually, but I knock. But only sometimes. Yeah, I don't want to bother him if his door is closed. He opens my door all the time. Don't know if you noticed. Maybe it hasn't happened, but he opens my door to let my dog inside my room. Okay. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Psst. 
eras of Valve games. The Gold Source era, the Source era, and this is the Source 2 era. So everything from this point forward is going to be made on Source 2. Brad Why did Valve take the time Whoa. and effort to make the same game over again with Counter-Strike 2? Well, Global Offensive was originally made to be a console port of Counter-Strike Source on the PlayStation and Xbox. It was meant to be cross-platform play with PC. Now I know what you're thinking. What an awful idea. Thank goodness they didn't go that direction. Valve didn't even originally make it. It was made by a company from the ground up called Hidden Path Entertainment, who up to that point had made a tower defense game. It was a pretty good tower defense game, though. There are still remnants of this horrible idea. The buy menu is a wheel so that controller players can buy the weapons instead of a menu like every other game. There's a mm -hmm. command that flips the player 180 degrees so that controller players can look behind them. If you think anyone would play Counter-Strike on a controller, you really don't understand what Counter-Strike is. I don't think Valve <laughs> Counter-Strike until Cat. maybe within the last decade. At a certain point, the decision was made to make Global <laughs> Offensive a real boy, and Valve Software took over development, and they turned it into what we've been playing for the last 10 years, and in my opinion, they did an extremely good job. I was there 3,000 years ago is when Global Offensive was really, really game? bad. I saw the potential, so is did they. CS Counter -Strike go? Good now. It's like Global Offensive is a house that's or been converted is from it... an old textile mill. Over the years, as things have fallen apart, it's been held together with copious Ooh. amounts of duct tape. Here's where we gotta use the words I learned in college. Man, I'm so happy I got my degree. It's been really helpful in my career of playing video games mildly well. There's something in software mildly development called well. technical debt. When you gotta work on something, you can either do it quickly or you can do it right. If you choose to do it no! quickly, you get technical debt. It's the, the poor sloth laying in power for months. Oh, did it really? Bullshit. For months? They wouldn't have allowed that, I don't think, for months. That's a long time to to, to to have a package lying around, just... What the fuck? In power, though. Like, power. <sighs> nope, it's not CS2. CS2 mechanics is different and volumetric smoke is beyond this world. So, am I just listening to him talk? I'm not good at that. Fucking oh, paper. <laughs> Is it CS go to CS2? He shoots hole and smoke. Really? He does, huh? Video games mildly oh. well. There's something in software development called technical debt. When you gotta work. What's the point of smoke if you can just make a hole through it? Hmm? Wait. Huh? Hmm? It's shorter. Oh, yay. I mean, I don't mind 12 minutes. Just... In a Counter-Strike match, information can mean the difference between success or failure. As a result, smoke grenades have this become a like of team tactics. With Counter-Strike 2's new game engine, we've evolved smokes and made them dynamic. Revealing holes in the smoke goes both ways? Yes, but like... ...objects that live in the world. Now, not only do all players see the but, same uh... smoke regardless of position, but the smoke can interact with the environment in interesting ways. It reacts to lighting, grows to fill spaces naturally. The shape of the smoke cloud can be pushed and carved by bullets so and cool. grenades. In Counter Strike 2, smoke grenades provide even more tactical opportunities. You should have hold and you know where you are. And play better. Okay. That seems so loud to me. But it's not actually. Okay. All right. Fair enough. But are they going to make new maps or no? They have to, right? Cuz got Damn, I can't imagine people want to play the old ones. Unless they do. 
The smoke is so realistic that I can see it coming out of my PC. And you should get your PC a health check. They have health check at one of the electric stores for PC. <laughs> Yearly health check. Like going to the doctor. They will. You don't see his girls been getting new maps. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. I mean, I don't play Seeds Go. They're scared to make new maps. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, when people call for new maps, they get new maps, and then they think it's crap. And then they want the old one back. And then they want the new one. And then they want the old one back. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, okay. Only the old ones are good. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, the first map you ever get, even if you think it's shit, it's always going to be the first one that you make good memories on. And then you get a new one. That's even more crap and you think the former one wasn't so bad after all. <laughs> kind of weird. It happens. I still want Radonsk back. Got new memories. I got good memories. Only the new one was great? You like Al Mazra? Or what? Do you? Yeah. But I never actually shit on the new maps. What's the jungle map called again? Something with C. I never shit on the new maps. I missed the old one, yeah, but I didn't necessarily think like the new ones were garbage. It's like, it's just about making new memories. In new places. But you never stop thinking about... Oh, you meant the old one. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, that conversation. Confusion! No. Yes, eh? That's actually very confusing. Hello, I am Villa and I am from the US. Hey, my name is Benedicta and I am from America. Benedicta. I am from Sverige. I am from Sofia and I am from Denmark. Denmark. What do you think of? Oh, that's a different... Shocked by Nordic's English differences. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. New maps, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna insult you now. I, I insult my own country. Um, guns? <laughs> yeah, I'm... <laughs> I think I would say patriotic. I want to crack my back! Nordic English, can't you? And they all speak English really well. In the US, we say McDonald's. In Norway, we say McDonald's. In Sweden, we say McDonald's. Denmark, we say McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, we were basically like the same. <laughs> yeah. You just had like a little bit of a Spanish yeah. accent. It was very Danish. I say McDonald's. They sounded very similar to each other. In and English. Obviously, it's the, I think it's the vowel. But some people call it McDonald's. Mm -hmm. people, but they all say Mac instead of Vic. Or just like... McDonald's. But they're all the same. <laughs> Donald US, Duck. In computer. Uh, in Norway, we see, say Pese. Pese. <laughs> Uh, in Sweden we say dator. In Denmark we say computer. That was really? That's yeah. very different. <laughs> Chris left and right for your back, <laughs> Chris. Oh, I tried. <laughs> we many of us say like PC, which means like PC, portable ah. computer. So <laughs> it's just shorter. Yeah, because we also have the PC. You don't but really say that to a computer with your dator. For like a stationary PC, we would say stationary, and then we would call laptop a computer. Can you say it again, please? Pese. Pese. Yeah, she's doing pretty good. Dator. 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 Dator.
Oh my god. Racist, racist, racist dogs going to the gas station to get an energy drink. Woo yes, energy drink, chocolate, and, and, and something to smoke. In Norway, we say bum. In Sweden, we say vatten, vatten. We were different, but in some parts of Norway, we say vatten. So it's uh, Do you say still button? similar. <laughs> Energy drinks. In the US we say reindeer. In Norway we say reindeer. Reindeer. We say reindeer. In Denmark we say kvartstjo. Kvartstjo. Most of the English language comes from a different language anyway, so and we don't use always. Just English. Yeah, I think it's very close to the Norwegian word. Nah. Uh, except the last part of the word deer means animal. Uh, so the first part is basically the same. And then it's, I think it's maybe evolved a bit when it came to what America. What else the can we watch? Uh, in the US, we say bag. Uh, in Norway, we say pose. In Sweden, we say beska. So what? Bag. Uh, in, Norway in Norway, we say boksesek. Somebody screwed up here. Okay? In nowhere does box a sec sound like pusa. Okay? For real, bro. For real. For real. The way we say pusa. Pusa. Sweden, we say. I join. Yes. Yes. Yes, you can. Just go on nurse and waiting. Go on. I'm waiting to drag you in. Fuck sake. Box a sec. Box a sec. Beska. In Denmark, we say teske. Oh, wait. So. Is it like a bag or like a bag? It's a bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's different. I think this. <laughs> Bag is like box. Oh, because oh, then it's different. Boxing. Not box sack, but boxing. Boxer sack would be that. <laughs> that great big cylinder of a of a bag that you you hit. Yeah, when you're boxing. Boxer sack. I know it doesn't make sense, but yes, box does mean a box. <laughs> they do sound the same. That's because Norwegians, Swedish, and technically Danish are um, all, almost speak the same language. Norwegian's written language is almost identical to the Danish written language. We basically speak the same language except nobody understands danish it was a joke how can it be a joke can i join voice chat why is that a joke why would you joke about that uh, in a way, god uh, damn it say basket. if i do this it will sound like basket <laughs> which is also something that you can use to carry things in maybe it doesn't matter <laughs> In the US, we say knife. In Norway, we say kniv. In Sweden, we say kniv. In Denmark, we say kniv. Kniv. What? See? <laughs> See? Do you understand why? Kniv. 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 <laughs> kniv. And you have the K and the N. Knife. Danish sounds like a mix between Dutch and German. Kniv. I mean, the. Danish do live close to Germany. Yeah, that's true. You oh, you got your rabbit chest! Choo choo! The Are you just stayed here because you wanted a rabbit chest? Wow. You're going back to POE. It, K is silent. I don't understand why we spell things the way we do. <laughs> that's 
actually very confusing. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Surprising. Can you? I I didn't know that a lot of the words like stem from. You want to hear accent, please? In English as well. I knew. Accent. Are you going to bed? What the f it's 2 a.m. Shalton. You're a little bit past your bedtime, sir. A little bit. It is weekend, I'll give you that. A little bit past your bedtime. You want to hear my accent? Or what? Fuck you, Shalton. You're so difficult. Why do you want to be like this? I knew that English uses several different languages, but I didn't know that they were also they were also in Norway. Just chilling. They're actually these two are very similar, <laughs> but you're you hey. has slight similarities sometimes. But they're different and not that different. It's the pronunciation that's really difficult. I would understand if you spoke Norwegian. Yeah, so I would understand if you spoke Swedish. I knew that there was a lot of done. similarity. So when it wasn't, that was actually very interesting. Yeah. Good night, Shalta. But really, at least. Yeah, but I think we have, personally, I have an easier time understanding Norwegian yeah, than yeah, Swedish. Yeah. But still, I am able. I think we're all able to have a conversation with each other. There might be a few mashups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like with certain words, but I think in general, also written. I think yeah, Norwegian written. and Danish are more similar yeah, yeah. than Swedish. Because um, we usually say that Norwegian is like the in between of Danish and Swedish. Yeah. Because yeah. they have easier to understand each other. Yeah, yeah. And we do? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. like, I think so, because it was almost like a transition. With Norwegian, the long O is you... more like kind of a U, and then it kind of more short O, and then really a hard O. I think, I think it describes our country's pronunciation very well, yeah. like in general. Yeah. But I think nice. Can you talk to Swedes and Danes? I can talk to Swedes. I will have a really difficult time understanding Danish. Really, really difficult time. I have told yeah. this before, <laughs> but when I went to dance class and, and there was this if Danish like person video, that spoke to me, like, leave a comment, I didn't understand bye. what she said. <laughs> but then I, I just think that's me that's having a hard time, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I don't want that to be in our region. You have seen Idol. You have seen Norsk talent. You have seen X Factor. The Voice. Or Skal we dance? No. Come and dance. Little new. So you think you can dance? Oh God. Hey. Kemeru. Kemeru. Hold on. I want to watch this, but at a later date. Some other time, maybe. Collapsed into meaningless guttural sounds. For example, uh, the other day I had a problem with my bicycle, had a flat tire, I had to go into a traditional Danish ice cream store. And when I came in, I uh, didn't even remember the Danish, Danish word for hello. English accent. Game's good. <coughs> I didn't understand anything of him, so I just repeated what he said. Good is good. Yes, see. Oh, they're Norwegians. Both of those people are Norwegians. Actors. Um, Comedians. Skal jeg have en slags skæve for mig lige et skæve gode? Skæve. Slags for mig lige et skæve gode. As. <laughs> Parody. Hi, my name is Magnus. Hello. Oh, I was in a match. You were in a match? Did you win at least? 
on the last one. Ah. Oh wow, look at those cool houses. So tiny. So cute. Wow. Wow. Hvad synes I er typisk dansk? Eh, rød grøn flue. Rød Fuck. What is Dana next to uh, Norway or something? Huh? Is Danish like next to Norway or something? Kinda. There's a little bit of ocean between us, but uh, nothing that a fairy can't solve. What do you think is typical? Wow. Måske nok. Flæskesteg. Krød pølser. Krød pølser. Fællesskab. Fællesskab. Ja. Fedt. Tak. Hygge. 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 Det skal vi være at sige. Godt nøjse, det er O with the line. The O. O with the line. What O with the line? O. You mean O. Uh. It's an uh, which is what I say when it's when I say ew, it's uh, disgusting. What's <laughs> Felska? Uh. I don't fucking know, man. Let's find out. Flæskesteg. Fælleskab. Fælleskab. Rød pølser. Rød pølser. Fællesskab. Fællesskab. Community. Fa- 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 Rød pølser. Flæskesteg. Flæske. Flæskesteg. Flæskesteg. Rød pølser. Rød pølser. Fællesskab. Fællesskab. They don't say... This letter, like I do. After all. Ooh, nice word. Do you want me to slow down? How do I? Are you learning new words right now? Kinda. It's Danish. It's basically the same as Norwegian. A written language. What's the difference? They have a potato in their fucking throat. That's the difference. Like, if I would say... Like their mouth is full of food? <laughs> Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. That's a weird way to put it. Well, everybody says they have a potato in their throat. Must be true! Hmm. Trying to figure... No. Is that cream? Cream, yes, cream. They say... Fleur... But in Norwegian? It's... Fleurte. Fleur... You just have to change the sound of the word in your fucking throat. It's not easy. Um. Salma. And porridge. 
Guess so. Ver, 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 Hvad synes du er typisk dans? Er typisk? Frikadeller. Frikadeller. Ja. Tak. Skal jeg sige frikadeller? Men det er fordi, ja, fordi det, jeg synes det er svært, fordi man hurtigt svarer alle de der ting, som man siger, man svarer. Ja. Hvad er typisk dans? Kugge. Den dans med kugge. 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 Sæsoner, tror jeg, synes jeg. Sæsoner. Godt humør. Venlighed, og god kaffe, og øh, yeah. øh, god musik, og yeah. rød brød med... Do you like that guy? I think they like that guy. Yeah. Oh my god, he said it. Yeah. Kaffe, og øh, yeah. øh, god musik, og yeah. rød brød med kløde. <laughs> um, Your fashion gives an old school vibe. Huh? I was saying their fashion gives like an old school vibe. This guy or everybody? Everybody. Really mean. I thought they looked Making normal. Looking all the olden times. Really? Because we have all this, the same stores basically, almost. Like, like H and M is everywhere. Basically, I am not familiar with H and M. Oh, it's very popular. Ah, uh, typisk dansk. Uh, typisk dansk er uh, afslappet. Ja, det er God kop kaffe. I like this guy. Uh, I can't understand this guy. Mad menneskelighed. Øhm... Sådan nogle ting. Ja. Sådan i forhold til vores sprog. Jeg vil bare høre, der er typisk dansk. Jeg tror, jeg synes, venlighed og åbenhed er typisk dansk. Øh... Gris. Haha. Haha. Nu får du en antropolog, som øh... <laughs> Ikke vil definere danskhed, men øhm, typisk dansk, det er øh, åbenhed, synes jeg. Det håber jeg i hvert fald. Og øh, så er det nysgerrighed. Øhm, nysgerrighed. Og så for nogle mennesker, så er det måske også, øh, hvad hedder det, tradition. Hvad for nogle slags Moske. traditioner har vi? Moske. Øh, Især juletraditionerne kommer jeg til at tænke på øh, med julegaver og dans som juletræ og især julemiddagen, som er meget øh, essentiel, tænker jeg. Maybe I will understand Danish people now. Yeah. Yeah. Moske. Which means maybe, <laughs> apparently. That was a boring video. I'm bored. I'm tired. In high school, did you guys have to like learn a new language? No. In high school? No. Middle school, yes. If we wanted to. We could choose English if we wanted to. Ooh. Otherwise, we could choose German, Spanish, or French. So or it was we... completely optional? Yeah. You pick one of those four. I chose German and learned nothing. Why? Did you not have a choice? Down here it's like a requirement learning to be able to pass. Learning which language? It was French and Spanish. Ah. French. <gasps> I think it's the same thing for If America too. Hawk sent me this video once. I didn't watch it. Oh! <gasps> you wrote letters to French kids? 
pen pal like right played any fps multiplayer game especially on pc you've probably at some point played with or against a cheater whether that's someone blatantly pen pal. scoping everyone with damage or a war hacker job of hiding Kaka. their unfair advantage ah. we've all talked about it many times before but it's not often that games Oh, there's a new MMORPG coming out. Cheaters. Oh, really? Because they don't want to play out all of it's their called Perfect World. Because that makes it easier to undo them. Perfect so World. To share with you today was a really perfect New World. Perfect New World? Why is it called Perfect New World? With a level of transparency that we Why would they call it that? Get to see. And in it, they demonstrated ways in which cheaters... That gives me vibes of Naraka Blade Boy. ...intriguingly address something that I've not seen many, if any, other game developers... Soul Tamer's search for the reincarnated prime immerse yourself in the fantasy world experience without loading screens? Ooh. Now, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and a comment below. Thank you. The next few clips that I'm about to show you represent mitigations that are currently active in both Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2. These are used to negatively impact the experience. But of I players. am While deep into new world. Collect valuable data the unperfect version. But perfect the world could be better. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. In the future. No. The first mitigation is called it's the perfect. Version. No, I don't want to. It's clearly better. Players from cheating players. In the clip, we can see that <laughs> once the cheater. Not to. Hello. Anybody else want to join the voice chat since we're having a party? Party! The next mitigation is the disarm. This one is hilarious, and I imagine that it would be. Can't have a party without popcorn. Popcorn. Guess it's not a party after all. Taking their guns away and allowing other players to shoot them without any chance of being shot themselves. You'd definitely be mad about that one for sure. And then there's the damage. Sadly, it ate all the popcorn last night. But it essentially makes oh, the it's not a party. To no damage on other players. So they might be going on their 30 kill streak, thinking that they're going to wipe the lobby and win the match when. All eh, had no butter anyway. You wouldn't like it. Oh. Turn into useless nerf I never put butter on my pop popcorn. Damage, not even making a scratch. There are what? Methods too that they don't talk that's about. that. That's the rule. You need to. You're supposed to. Oh. It's not. Butter and popcorn. And then banning them. So what about these you haven't plugged your microphone in since the Eurovision? Time to do it then. Do you even know where your microphone is? That's a long time not to use your microphone. There will probably be issues. Sorry, I do not, I cannot pay attention to videos that has facts in it. That means I have to engage my brain and comprehend what the fuck's going on in the video. I'm more of a visual person, not uh, but a audio. But video is visual. Not audio. But if I'm watching it and I'm listening, then then which one do I engage? My eyes or my ears? My brain has to engage. I can't do that when I'm doing both watching and listening. I have to close my eyes. In that case. Ah, oh, but you got subtitles. Ugh. Not always. Sometimes they're in French. Chinese. Korean. French. Je ne comprends pas. Oh, cinematic. Well, there is a chance if you get into a coma, you can learn a whole new language easily. I will make sure to tell uh, whoever is in charge to put some headphones on my ears and a and, uh, French course. <laughs> that'd be cool. Yeah, they, yeah, that'd be cool. Natsu, you were sleeping in the voice chat. Was it a good sleep? Who's so different? 
courtesy of Sunny V2, I got the YouTube in the description. Be sure to check them out. This is a great video, and I had a blast reacting to this. If you do enjoy this, drop a like, hit the sub button. Most importantly, be sure to tell somebody you love them. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. The reaction video for y'all here. This is Idiot Streamers Who Got Caught Cheating Live. This is from Sunny Yeah, when we were watching that video about Elon Musk, that is SpaceX bullshit, my brain reacted to the hexagon design. I was thinking, oh, that's cool. That's a cool design. And that's the only thing I caught on that video. Everything else was technical terms and numbers, and I did not pay attention to that. The hexagons were cool! Hey, welcome back, Stone! Yeah, you missed the SpaceX video. So your brain basically slowly goes into static? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, feels bad. There was a lot more. If I was into space and and stuff like that, and I already knew stuff, I'd watched stuff from before. I could probably follow that video, but but that was like starting school at the age of six. And already learning algebra before you learned to read or math. At six? <laughs> yeah, at six. They start school, or they used to start school when you were six years old here. Don't know if they change it. I don't know. I don't know, kids. So I don't know what happens in school anymore. What? Not to? You're going to lay down? Already going? They catch the booster with little T Rex arms. You were able to do math at the age of four. Well, most kids aren't. So. Guess you got lucky. Yeah, y'all were way ahead. Oh, you just got home. Oh, nice. So now you're gonna relax. Are you gonna go to bed? Not soon. Yeah, algebra is six years old. That's an equivalent of me watching the SpaceX video, okay? That's what I feel like. Well, not feel like. But there was a lot of terms in that video I didn't really understand. So that video was for people who already knew a little bit about it. You're a little tired? Yo, me too, man. Me too. Oh, man. Miss G. Miss Q Gemini. Should I change my name to Miss Aquarius? <laughs> With the fishes? Oh, that's that Clara girl. Ah, hacks. That's her from before. Yeah, it is. You're not tired. You're just energyless. That's what being tired is, bro. Yeah, yeah. She just has great gaming socks. Yeah! Gaming socks! Wish I had those gaming socks. They cost a lot. <laughs> Have a good night, Nelsu. Bye! You counted windows always when we drove with the car and stopped at the traffic light? <gasps> so you counted them and you can Then you found out you can add the window slides and multiply them at the end. Damn, bro! Damn! What did I do when I was four? I can't remember. Did you enjoy smelling gasoline? <laughs> I enjoyed drinking it. Good times. Um, wait a sec. <laughs> 
When I was four years old, I had a dog. Yeah, at least squeeze lemon in it. Lemon? Yeah, to give the gasoline some good taste. <laughs> no, I put pepper in it, dude. Pepper. With six, you were depressed. Oh, no. Already? That's no bueno. No. Glitch in the matrix, dude. Glitch in the matrix. No kids should... No kids should be depressed at six. No kids should be depressed. Tell that to Chinese sweat workers, sweatshops. Oh, no, so sad. This is a perfect world, what do you mean? Nothing bad happens here. Nothing. Nothing bad happens. Why I can't do speech to TV modes on YouTube, but I can see them? Maybe you need to... F5! You have Beetle from your family because you want to spend time with them? I thought you had a good relationship these days with your family, don't mm. Sort of an okay family. Well, a relationship with your family. Why did I suddenly get so tired? Damn. Are you taking my energy internal? Is that why you're here? Ah, <laughs> uh, you, found, you found out my plan. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. Oh no. Despite being down and feeling countless times by his opponent, a glitch prevented Marky from being eliminated. Whilst being revived, Marky told him That's horrible lighting. about what had happened, which was followed by the two unfairly killing the player who was down to Marky's original. You peed your bet up to an age that you can't mention? One digit or two digits? 13 years old. At one digit or two digits. <laughs> I had a pee problem too. That took me to the doctor. Got me, I don't know, it got me this thing to put under the bed, like a mat, that when it got wet, it would make a noise and wake me up. <laughs> 12, huh? You know, I think you've said this before. I'm pretty sure every kid... Huh? Every kid wets their bed? I'm pretty sure every kid peed their bed, yeah. Well, yeah. Rites of passage. <laughs> it's a ritual. Oh, yeah. Have you really been a kid until you went to bed? No. You're not a real kid then. You're uh, an illusion. An NPC. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> and then he pulls it up. Oh. His reaction to this is golden. The chat then mocks Captain. He goes, oh my god, bro. Oh, he wants to close the hatch for me. Which is followed by a live warzone band later in the stream. Disconnected from COD, bro. Damn. With the captain of the saga ending with the deletion of his entire Twitch channel. Getting caught while checking the task manager was a trend continued by calling. How many people are shooting, bro? It's crazy, actually. Guessing I'm hacking, bro? I'm not. Youngsters have noticed that they always seem to know where the enemy is. Oh, I missed the old gulag. Damn, so good. Nobody shamed me with a nice stream? Why would anybody shame you? Are you not joining Moisture Choppy? I'm waiting this entire time. Almost 84 years. We have free pineapple pizza. 
pineapple pizza. Chocolate pizza. Nah, Choppy don't want chocolate pizza. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> yummy, yummy in my tummy. Is it possible to play all of our dance? No, it's not. It's not possible. <sighs> oh, you want chocolate pizza? How did you know pineapple and ham is my favorite? Hawaiian pizza then? Hawaiian. When can I get a thousand viewers? Hmm? So that they can all give me money. And we can all have a distant relation between streamer and viewer. Hmm? When? Yeah. That's easy. Start buying bots. Spend money? Meh. Meh. That's what they do though, the streamers. They buy bots to gain traction. I would rather pay money for makeup. Fair enough. Or shut another time when I set it up again? Set it up soon. I'm sorry about hitting you here. What does he mean I didn't you don't download and use cheat? I got that cheating message seven times? Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you you probably you <laughs> She got banned a lot, didn't you? Shadow banned, at least. These days, Mr. Dolph's Twitch channel is an advertisement for big cryptocurrency giveaway from Tesla, which sounds like an even bigger scam than his wall card. That's the curse of playing with people who have lower KD, isn't it? Well, no, you get in better lobbies. It's not better lobbies for the low KD person, which was always me. And it's the lowest KD. So I had a really difficult time playing. <laughs> it got so bad. I got so frustrated that I just said, fuck it. Next stream, drinking stream on Warzone because I fucking cannot handle this anymore. So I did a drunk stream. Well, I wasn't actually very drunk. I wasn't destroyed, but bruh. Yeah, skill-based matchmaking is AIDS. Modern Warfare has the worst of it. Mm. I don't know. I don't know facts. We were also under the top 0 0.01 players in KD kills and wins. He kills you a top 100. Damn, bro. My microphone has the whole top as touch sensitive mute on mute, so every time I touched it, it would mute. And you didn't know. Oh, now you know. Wiser. Older and wiser. He's got noodle hair. Tim does not have hair on his head, except for his beard, but like, you get it, on his head. Best game I've had was with you and somebody out of the USA? I forgot her name. Really? Did we play together? I don't remember that person if we were playing together. I don't remember playing with a woman. <laughs> Women exist on the internet? I'm sorry? What? I thought they were government robots. <laughs> Noodle hair. You remember when we were in farmland and I, you were pushing teams in the houses alone? Ah, oh, kills comms was so good. Kills comms, the kills comms. Hmm, those were the days. Stoned, those were some good days. Your dance was awesome. 
You don't remember shit, do you? <laughs> Those were good days, okay? I remember feelings. It was good. I had good times with Stone and Lith and Ethan and Shugo. They were good times. And Green. You remember three guys camp in the stairs holding them and in the comms they said, Where did he come from? <laughs> she just walked past them. <laughs> Oh, are those the death comps, I, I assume? Oh yeah, kill comps. Death comps. You're a ghost. In a way, oh, of course, you had the best game you'd ever had. In a way, doesn't even play this game, she doesn't even play. She would have like zero KD, yeah, it would have been in a way then because if she's from Canada, bro. Yeah, I've had my best games too with people who were lower KD than me. That's crazy, dude. I've never heard that last one. I think I just realized too that I was probably blocking the camera on that last one. My bad. Yeah. Uh, so you have to carry it. This was with the blindfold. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun feeling like a god. <laughs> was fun. But that didn't mean that I ever got better at the game. They were all considerably worse than me. Uh, oh, oops. I don't care about. Oops. Let's watch Doctor Who! Well, I thought you had. <laughs> I thought you say you had your best games with me. I never got any kills. When I was with you, stoned. <laughs> I remember that. I had fun, yeah. But I never got any kills. Maybe one, maybe two. Oi, 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 oi! What all is then? It's a party! It's a party, bro. You're up late. Um, Lamar. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> was a good time thing, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, we will always have those times. Yeah, more Doctor Who, good idea. Kappa. Should I feel bad? Kappa. You will either love or hate this video. This was Rust. Guys, Rust is so expensive. When I was editing the video, I've been wanting to play Rust, but it's so expensive. Twelve? You can really feel the pain this kid is in. Rust. And it's this game, it's a brutal game. Rust Rust is forty bucks Euros. And you will forty euros. Okay, so I am broke. I'm not paying 40 euros for Rust, a game that I have no idea if I will like, a game that I have no one to play with, which is important, as you know. Think of Rust like a grown-up version of Seven Days to Live or Die. So Grown up, why? Because you can grief each other, kill each other in PvP. Okay, so now you understand why people. I mean, there's PVE as well. Yeah, I know. So, uh, 
sort of seven days to die pvp and pv never tried the pvp part though because i'm always allied with shuko it's really time consuming yeah so it's new world you know i kind of like the community that's that i have on new world so that's where i want to stay kind of sad maybe i'll get into it another day uh internal voice is hella crisp <laughs> wait is it too loud i don't know i turned you down a little now my brother's got a foothold and he wants to go deeper into the base mission successful he made it in guys and now he's looking at the loot this is their main loot room I was running there to try and shut the door before my brother could escape. It's Not loud, just smexy, it's crisp. Oh, guys, I want you to appreciate what you're looking at right now. <laughs> this represents hours of work that these guys have done. It would have taken those kids That would have been, oh my god. Maybe now they have, see, they have this kind of base and raid the in Minecraft as well. Okay, so the kid is being a I watch a couple of videos. I can never do it though. I could never grind for hours for stuff and then lose it when somebody raids my base. For real. That would make me quit the game. But that's part of the experience. It's supposed to make you more stronger, you know? Stronger? How? Like, motivating you to do better, like, build better walls, defenses. I'm not motivated by that. I am motivated by feel-good stuff. To create more feel-good stuff. I guess we're just masochists. I guess we're just different. <laughs> yeah, I mean, getting... Bullet doesn't make me want to get even. If you know what I mean. It's not bullying. That's motive. I mean, motivation to get even. I guess. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I just want to move I wanna on. I want to say it's bully. Totally is. What kills you makes you stronger. <laughs> what? No, no, no. Exactly. What kills me makes me sad. Like, we could have been friends, and they killed me instead. Friends betray you. Rust is there for you forever. I would never betray my friends. I expect the same treatment. Say that when playing Battlefield? What? That I would never betray my friends? I would never betray my friends. Now, however... I forgot the name of the game, now I can't play it anymore. Holy fucking shit. Jesus Christ. My brain's not working cause it's late! If you don't make your friends commit suicide, are you really their friend? Among Us. Now, say that about Among Us? That's something else. Huh? What did she say? Andrew T. W. Really? Why? Why do you like Andrew Tate? What is it that Andrew Tate says that you like? You're not making sense, you're hella tired too. <laughs> I'm never going to bed. Never. Yeah, we all love him. Andrew Tate? Oh yeah, for sure. This is an Andrew Tate cult. We love Andrew Tate here. Worship. Kiss his feet. Oh. We absolutely love his Versace robe. 
Yes. Everything about traditional values. Mm. You have his name as tattoo. Yeah. I tattooed his name on my ass. Both arms and my third leg. <laughs> Good lord. I'm planning the tattoo soon. Oh, you Let's are? See. Is it Andrew Tate? Is it racist? No. no. <laughs> Have a good night, I'm Limar. Good night, bro. Sleep well. You love everything about traditional values. Right. Right. Traditional values. Emotional damage. Hmm. Some days I think I should learn about Andrew Tate and what he stands for and why I don't agree with it. But then I have to learn stuff and remember them to boot. Remembering is so difficult, man. Hey, internal. June 15th. <laughs> You <laughs> remembered? Oh. <laughs> Cringe. I'm not a birthday guy. You're not a birthday guy? Okay, I'll, I will forget then. I haven't celebrated in like years. I guess I will just ignore you on your birthday then. Even though I don't like it. Wipe it from your memory. Well, that should, Factory that, reset. <laughs> that should be easy. Shade, if you watch enough tape content, you can also learn as female and become the perfect wife. I have no intention of marrying. None. I'm 27. Really? Yeah, I think marriage is, uh, I don't know. What, you think it's overrated? Oh, uh, a little bit. I think people marry too fast before they even know themselves or what they want and then they get a divorce and then they get married again that is true yeah 27 is fine that's why you should date for like 10 years and then get married date Bruh, I've never dated anybody in my entire life you're joking right no i'm serious You hate him for no reason without even watching some videos of him? I don't agree with the tr traditional values, Hawk. I don't. I, I, I've i never liked the traditional values. Every culture has different traditional values. Yeah, every country is different. Why not? Because it doesn't suit me. You only marry because of tax reduction? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it helps... Like, say a couple who aren't really that into marrying, like, they both agree with that, but then, like, there's tax reduction, and they both decide to get married for that reason, that's fine. I suppose. If they have every intention of staying together, despite never getting married. You want to be completely free without any morality? How does traditional values have anything to do with morality? I can be completely moral without traditional values. Harry <laughs> Hawk. I'm struggling here. I'm really struggling with being polite. Polite no. Polite no. My friend got paid to marry the girl so she could get passport. She could get what? Her passport, American passport, US. Oh, hey. <laughs> Black Knight cheating on a husband is a traditional value? Well, it goes both ways, yeah? 
husband not cheating on wife too it's that deference to authority which often is the man right but then that means that the man the authority doesn't they have the freedom and the authority to not go with the same value as in they are what? somehow allowed to stray away from I mean, that. I have the same authority too. Hmm? Women can have the same authority too. Deference to authority? Well, often in traditional values, there's always female uh, deference to men and not men to women. Ergo, it's always like, oh, these men are allowed to do whatever they want. Wife has to agree with everything and be obedient. And that that's, takes a, that takes a, that, that takes away their voice. That's not exactly traditional. Isn't that? Isn't it? How's it not traditional? That is how it's traditionally been through history. How can a man have an authority if he got no if he got zero control? Zero control over what? Sorry, I have traditional values up on up on Google. Blue box Creighton dot education. That don't make any sense, but control over what? Traditional values emphasize the importance of religion, parent-child ties, deference to authority, and traditional family values. People who embrace these values also reject divorce, abortion, euthanasia, and suicide. These societies have high, value, high levels of national pride and nationalistic outlook. Right, ignoring that last part. Shouldn't you control anybody though? No, it's true. I think when people talk for traditional, it's like roles, exactly, not authority. But if a woman has that submissive role and has to defer to the authority, which is the husband, the role of the authority, do you get what I'm meaning? Yeah, I, I get it. Responsible of a wife, not as controlling her. Yeah, but that's often how it gets distorted, Hawk. You know how everything that human has a hand in gets distorted? Like feminism. Like government. So will the traditional values be. Or has been. Provide, protect, control your own emotions. Easy peasy, let me squeezy. Are you telling me what a uh, Tate is for? Control your own emotions. Mm. That's a. Uh, Humans can lot. never do that. I don't know. No. It has. To, emotions need to be dealt with. Sorry, she fucked someone else and fine, just go. I'm not gonna be a simp and be like, it's okay, you're still my wife. Okay, but why is it the woman that fucks somebody else? The way it's the same way for a man too, it should be the same way. She should be able to, but if she's used to deferring to her husband, can she really? Will she be able to if she's not used to it? Like taking authority for herself, if she's used to giving her authority over to some other authority? So if her husband cheats and, and, um, the societies that place value in traditional values do not believe in divorce, she lives in that society, or he lives in that society, where 
a divorce is not acceptable. How can they do anything if either one of them strays? If it's a societal issue. A woman is responsible for herself. That are the equal rights, and I'm not saying not helping out. Yeah, yet you still. If her husband cheats, and the same for him, he's out. Yeah, but if they live in a society where traditional values are valued, the community is not going to look kindly upon actually the woman. Either way, oh my what god. What society thinks divorce is not like acceptable? I, I'm talking about certain societies where they place traditional values up high. Fuck community. That is very easy to say when you when like you haven't experienced it. You have to uproot your entire life if you do that. You have to leave that community. You you will have to leave people who were your friends or who maybe were your friends. Like if you get what I mean. Facts, loyalty goes both ways. In your people are way more traditional. <laughs> when you watch American people, they seem like from another, another planet to me. They kind of are on another planet. They are out there. I don't know where we are anymore. People care about community and what other people says, even if it's against their beliefs. Wait, are you saying fuck community or are you saying... They're too afraid of the shaming. Yeah. <clears throat> if a human thinks he's gonna get away with it, they will do it. Whatever they're thinking of doing. If they think they're gonna get away with it. Anything. Fuck what the community says. It's never as easy as that. Fear is a powerful motivator. Facts. Mm -hmm. I think a marriage should always grown together. That means husband and wife works on their goals together. Like you would give up some things in order to reach your goals and the other way around. Yes, that is so ideal. But not always the case. <clears throat> I agree with that ideology. You do agree or you don't? I agree. Uh, yeah. That's how it should be. Mm. Strive for it, at least. Yes, constant work. It is in some foreign countries, actually. In some foreign countries? Yeah, for sure. There is something like that. Close enough. Mm. So everybody can exist on his, uh, his, her own and just stay together because of love and not of dependency. Yes! Yes. Like it's a choice to be together, not that you need to be together. Like, you can, like, you have the financial freedom to leave a relationship and the independence to, but you choose not to because of, yeah. It's a choice, not a necessity. Oh, your parents only stayed together because they had two kids and it was, oh. No. Oh, really shouldn't. That's a tough line to balance, you know? Oh, fucking hell, it's 3 a.m. Quarter past 3 a.m. This has been fun!
Interesting. It's been interesting. It's a very learning experience. You hate the splitting part? Sadly, too many marry for financial. Gotta go for sooner. Ah. Hawk's gonna go eat. <clears throat> Before he has to fast. Talk to you later if you're still on. Probably not still on. We don't want this to go on till 9 a.m. Or 11, 9, 10, 10 a.m. in the morning, like last time. As fun as it was, I was just so wrecked. I think everybody was wrecked after that night. Have you ever even been up that long? Yeah! We streamed once till like 10 a.m. Oh. in the morning. It was oh. horrible. And great fun. You weren't there, were you? You weren't there. I was. Oh, you missed something, bro. You missed out. How did you even do it though? I, I've only done that like once. Honest, I, was I, I have no idea how it happened. I just didn't want to end stream. It was fun. It was a 13 hour stream. Too much energy drinks. No. No. I don't know. I was just really enjoying it. Not enough it. water. Not enough water. Okay. If you would marry somebody, then you would buy everything in a percentage, like no matter how much you I earn. If you want to buy something, you would spend like 20% of a loan on it. Mm. Two 20-hour streams? Oh yeah, I did that once. Or twice, more like 20-hour streams. Shit is built different. <laughs> They're fun! They're fun streams! But also very difficult to do. I started at like 8 or 9 a.m. in the morning and then I ended at... Don't know. At 5 a.m.? 4? 5 a.m.? I think that's why I started the stream so early in the morning because I wanted to end at a... at a time where I usually go to bed. <laughs> Balloon animals helped. Yeah, I still have those balloons somewhere. The the rest of those balloons. Somewhere. Those being equal for you. Oh my god. Balloon. Bye, you're a fun. Did you say that the hawk? <laughs> Bye, you're fun. Solo player bank. I miss dynamite. You miss. What? Dino nuggets. <gasps> Dino nuggets are not real. What do you mean? Hey, 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 hey stop it. Stop it. They're not real. Let me have this. <laughs> they are real. Okay, stop it. Yeah, I can't see the ads, Choppy. Imagine if dinosaurs were actually... What if they had feathers? What if a T-Rex was like full of feathers? And it was very fluffy. Are you saying it's a giant chicken? Yeah, of course. Giant chicken. Oh, that makes sense. That's why their arms are so short. <laughs> Big brain. They did? They did have feathers? Did they look like chickens? Yeah, but what about... They didn't. They had what balls. about the other dinosaurs? Dinosaurs. 
They were like lizards. We still have dinosaurs to this day. No, we don't, because we don't exist. Not real. Crocodiles. Weren't there dinosaur... Water dinosaurs? <laughs> Other than crocodiles? What happened to those? Stinked. But why? What happened to them? Like, how did crocodiles survive? Like, fuck them. Look at Insta. In Instagram. Again? It's the way how the the sea shift like over the centuries. Oof. Oof Wait, I already gave this a like. Oh, it's already saved. Oh. Oh. What is something a sexual partner has said to you in bed that has eased your anxiety? Hmm. You know I want more than just your body, right? <gasps> wow. Aww. <laughs> You've seen it before? I'm on Instagram every night. I am on Instagram way too much. Instagram isn't healthy. Living isn't healthy. It's killing me, actually. Killing everybody. Fun fact, oxygen actually kills. See, it's killing me slowly. Yeah. Getting there. You love dogs? Me too. Dogs, cats, otters, slots, baby monkeys. Baby monkeys. Ah, baby monkeys. You need to live for the doggos. I need to live for. Baby monkeys. No, yes. I had uh, wild baby monkeys in my backyard. Oh, you have monkeys. Oh, I didn't think about that. Ah, oh, monkeys. You will age faster. I will. Not if I drink water. So that is the first sip of water since I started stream. Tiny sip. Same. Same on you. <laughs> Your body needs water shade. Come on. No. Do it for your dog. Do it for him. My dog's not gonna live to see me die. He's like one foot in the grave already. Oh. <laughs> that, that came out wrong, and you know it. <laughs> He's getting there. How old is he? I lost count. Probably 14 or 15. <gasps> you forgot his age? Yeah, it's up in the ages, bro. I can't, for I can't remember anymore. I can't believe you shade. <laughs> of course you can believe me. You know my memory's ass. I've got chocolate milk. Nope. Chocolate! Ah. Oh. Nine likes? How incredible!
incredible! Holy shit! We passed eight likes. Um, we passed your information it. is actually ten. Oh, it has been updated for me. Oh my god, it's ten! Incredible! I've never had ten before, did I? Wow. Damn, bro. <laughs> Turtles. Hypers 10. Good shit. Good shit, man. We've had some enlightening talks today, haven't we? Exposed our ideologies and beliefs. <laughs> hmm. Some of us didn't expose enough. And who might that be? Cough, cough, shade. Was it me? I don't know what you mean. I feel like I've exposed myself a lot. Bearing. Taking my clothes off, of course, but still. Phrasing. <laughs> Yeah, I thought I exposed my ideologies quite, uh, quite a lot. Didn't I? Choppy will say yes. Right, Choppy? Yeah, I did. Okay, it- I didn't expose everything. It, it had 10 likes, now it has 9. Some asshole just unliked, okay? Up. Okay. Um, it's showing 11. What? No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's on 10 now. Yes, it is. Bullshit. It's 11. No, no, not until I, I see it. I can show a screenshot. I can show a screenshot. You sit up for yourself and what you believe. Everybody here has different opinions and beliefs. And how are we going to get along with each other if, if we don't let each let, let Yeah. It's 11 for you too? Where are they coming from? But seriously, my likes are going from 9 to 10. To 9. Oh no, it's back to 10. Ah, oh, which one are you? Right, curse you. You're going to hell. I bet it's choppy. <gasps> no. No. Oh, no. He's trolling. No. Choppy trolling? I don't know if he does that. Now it's 10 again. <gasps> Somebody's messing? Why would nope, they do it's that? back to 11. Somebody's trolling. It's back to 9 yeah. now. It's back to 10 again. Oh, no. Bobby would never troll like that. Yeah, it's it's somebody's trolling. It's back to 11. Shame. Shame on you. Shame on your cow. Choppy's acting like he didn't just message me saying he's doing it. Oh, you can also dislike it. Stoned! <laughs> yeah, you can. But it actually affects me because it's actually telling YouTube algorithm that to, to not recommend my content to people. So, you really should do that. Unless you hate me, of course. I think... Do you hate me? Stone? I think that's only if they dislike it. Shahdan did that today. Give me a thumbs down. Yeah. Asshole. <laughs> oh, you never pressed it? Oh, thank you. Shahdan. When I ever t every time I say that name, I think about how unfortunate it actually is. What an unfortunate name. Like saying, sharded. Like shitting and farting at the same time. Trade knows I would never mess for progress. Yeah, he would never do that. Choppy is a... from the person you least expected. Choppy, <laughs> Choppy is a cheerleader, dude. The best one. Who's the mascot? Uh, 
You want the job? No, 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 I'm good. Okay, okay, okay. I, I can't. It's the, it'll be too hard. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> costume. No. Costume, right. <laughs> Melvin. Melvin could fit. Mm. Mm. Melvin could do it. Ask him next stream. <laughs> Sharded? Yeah. There's a guy I know who calls himself... Shock them on New World. And I've never thought about it before until I say his name. That would be a big costume? Be a tall boy? I thought is he what how tall is he? Thanks for subscribing, channel about music. <laughs> it's a channel about music. Wow! Insanity! It's an 11 now! Wow! How tall is Melvin? Is he 180 something? Or is he taller? I bet he's like oh, 180. Oh, you guys go by centimeters? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Metric system. Thank you, Stoned! You'll have to do centimeter conversion? Ah, right. I do metric. If I had to guess, he's 187. I was gonna say 186, though. <laughs> it's 185 or something now, even smaller? Yeah, man, he grew up. He's growing. He's a growing boy. I mean, he's like 20. He drinks water boy. and eats vegetables unlike somebody. <laughs> Tell that to people who eat carrots and still have bad eyesight. <laughs> no, that's a myth that's debunked. Skill issue. <laughs> that's a skill issue. Myth. 189? Jesus. Damn. Skill issue. I stopped growing at 14. How tall are you? 166 centimeters. I wanted 167, but I never got oh, it. Oh, God. Bro. It's so unfair. Must have been those vegetables I didn't eat. Genetics. Genetics, yeah. Both my parents are short. Yet, somehow, my brother got hyped on him, bro. Where did he get it from? <gasps> you were already 193? At 12? Damn. You hate it? You hate your height now? Mm. Hold on. There, I can see. <laughs> That's huge, stoned. <sighs> oh, I always hated it. Oh. Man. Why? Why you hate it? Tom Clancy's the 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 division two. Nothing. You, you bump your head. Nothing fits. Somebody's probably already told you to get a helmet, right? That's probably nothing new. Nothing fits, huh? That sucks. That is actually... A sucky thing. It sucks. 
tell you something about women and different body shapes. They make pants different for each female body. Like some women's body have a fat ass, some women's body have a flat ass, and most of the pants that they make are for women with flat ass. So I have a problem finding pants. Okay, thank you for coming to my TED talk about pants. And my fat ass. Yeah. Jeans are too short. Shirts are too short. Jackets are too short. The shoes you want does not exist in your size. Wait, you're talking about the clothes in your in Norway? Yeah. Why? Do you have pants for fat ass there? <laughs> they don't have them here. Well, they do. It's just really difficult to find them. Yeah, here they were made for people with fat asses. <laughs> you have really conservative opinions of that shade? What? Fat ass? You're not fat or anything? You're growing up healthy? How, how is that conservative? That doesn't sound conservative. Hmm. That sounds progressive, bro. I think he's mixing fat and thick. All right. Mm. Perhaps. Perhaps. Ow. Hmm. Yeah, the only problem with that is the pants. <laughs> Obviously. Don't you guys can make like custom clothing? Oh, but they probably cost money. If you want them custom made. It shouldn't be that expensive. I, uh, it's like expanding the uh, the waist. The thread. It's still... Expanding the waist? Letting out the seam? Maybe like $10 more? How is this in Norwegian? Um, no idea. Fabric. You never um, tried, did you? Sewing? What? No, try to get custom pants. Because it's expensive. Did you check? Custom-made clothing here is always expensive. Because it's very time-consuming to sew. Fabric costs a lot. I spend hours and hours and hours on sewing clothing. Bro, sewing is a horrible, horrible thing. Horrible! I tried. I hated it. Okay, of course, not everybody will hate it. But still, those who like sewing still don't like spending like hours and hours and hours of their time for mere scrap of money oh you should see the instagram account that i follow of of like suists and what who who have people like wanting to underpay them for their work there's a lot of people who think it's cheap Getting Cust underpaid should be a crime. Custom... Why is that in the region? What the hell? Custom-made clothing. 
In sixth grade, they forced forced us to learn how to sew. Really? They forced you. Well, it was a requirement class to pass. Mm-hmm. I sucked ass at it. I hated it. <laughs> See, sewing sucks. But what if you took an already made pants and just uh, expand it, expand the waist? The waist? It's not the waist that's the problem. It's the hips. You just need to enable push-ups again? Oh yeah, that'll fix my hips right up. For sure. <laughs> That's not oh, I'm dumb. Right I thought they were the same. Oh. Oh, he answers me. Where do you even buy clothes then? At the mall. Where they have clothing stores. But you said they were hard to come by. They are. You have to actually find the pants that are specifically sewn in a you know, sewn in a specific way that fits your your shape. Which isn't easy. But I have some pants that uh that do fit me, so I just order them online. But it does it does restrict me to apps to exactly those pants. So I'm screwed if they ever take it out of the the um, the store. If I stop selling it, then I have to find discrimination. <laughs> yeah. I haven't gone shopping for clothes in years, I just realized. Are we talking about trousers? Yes, we are. Pants, trousers. Trousers, pants. Underwear, pants. But not underwear, pants. Pants, trousers. Talking about trousers. Not underwear. That's what I'm trying to say. Short pants versus long pants. Which one? Long Why long? Because I like to be covered. And then, like, if I have short pants, I'll have to shave my legs. You know what? Good, good point. Fair enough. Mm. I feel like short feels more comfortable. Perhaps, yeah. All right, I'm doing officer duty for my company. How much do you pay for pants in general? You ask me questions. I haven't bought pants since November. If you pay more than thirty dollars, you're getting scammed. For one pair of pants, you mean? One, one, one. Uh, why just? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, one pair. My orders. There's the pants. There are plenty of stores in Europe that custom jeans fit, and they are like 80, 120 bucks. Oh my god, fucking hell. That's so much. Let's see. These are about, these pens are about 20 bucks. These ones, I mean. Yeah, about 25 bucks. The other pens were about 25 euros. I mean. Let's see. 
These aren't so bad. They're on sale. They're on sale. They don't have my size. Never mind them. Okay. Uh, They're on sale. <laughs> They're like seven euros. And they don't have my size. Uh huh? You like trousers where the legs sip off into shorts? Oh yeah, I bet a lot of people do. I bet a lot of dudes do. I mean, it depends if you care about the brand. Nah. Brand's not important. Not to me, anyway. Unless it's Versace! Yeah, it <laughs> nobody gets it, because nobody saw the same video I did. They only heard. Oh, God. Versace! Off-brand is better than name brands. <laughs> These pants fit me. They've got, they've like, yeah. I'm afraid to scroll up because my name gonna be there. Or not, my name is not there. So when I buy pants, it's one of these. Not this one. You ever see somebody and you think they're naked because their pants are like skin color? That happens to me sometimes. You mean like yoga? Huh? You mean like yoga pants? No. Just the color of like skin. Somebody's wearing pants that have skin color or a shirt that's like skin color and you think at first glance you think they're naked then you look closer and you see there's clothing. <laughs> I've never had that encounter. No. Okay. All right then. Um, One hundred and fifteen Norwegian is about fifteen euros. About about fifteen euros. Without looking at the euro conversion. Uh, fifteen. Okay, a little bit less than fifteen. Probably thirteen. Maybe. Hmm? Yeah. 13 point something. I saw a reel today of a guy getting out of the sea with a t-shirt on with muscles printed on it. Cool. <laughs> he looked naked. He sure did, didn't he? It's all in your head. Sure is. Real is fake. And fake is real. Mm hmm You need to go to kick? Yeah... You want me to go to kick? Oh, kick store? Kick? Kick? Do we have cake? I don't think we have cake. We have a store that's called Cake, but it's a makeup store. Oh. Yeah, I told him we need to go to Cake. Actually, it's called Cakes. Makeup! Fuck, that exposed me. Nobody saw that. Too fast. Otherwise, you will pay at least 40 euros for jeans, even in an outlet store. Wow. Wow. Ooh. I would never wear these, but they look cool. Kick? Kick. Kicks? Clothing? I really don't know where to go. Kick. I 
if you want to buy a new outfit here with out a jacket, it's like at least 300 400 euros. Bro. 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 Ooh. Take a look at this. Hold on. Is this exposing me? Doesn't matter. Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. Banned. Suspend it. <laughs> Sylveon. Oh, that shit looks good. Oh, yeah. Jackets are like 100, 300 euros over here. Oh, my. 369? 369? Oh, yeah, Norwegian. So, Is that a lot? about 34 euros? 33 euros? Looks nice, get it? Nah. Too expensive. I'm not committed. 40 euros isn't bad. For a shirt? For a custom one like that, yeah. Custom? That's not custom. And anyway, I don't need custom stuff when it comes to my upper body. It's just my lower body. I only uh, got like one anime jacket and that's it. Anime. I'm being distracted. It when anyone has the time. Gotta find that name again. To the one guy who wanted an invite to the other company. Where is it? Stop it. E I had a lot of people message me yesterday in my DMs. Well, I say a lot of people, it was more like two. But that's all two more than I expected, so. They uh, wanted an invite to the New World Company. But the other one, because there's two, and I'm not in the other one, so there needs to be another officer to invite them. So I just gotta send their name over to whoever. See, you are a great healer that you got invited. Healer? I'm a great officer. <laughs> no, I'm not. When do we level my account, Shane? I don't know. I don't know, man. I play pretty much every day, even though I should be <clears throat> editing videos. You're undermining yourself. I'm undermining myself because... Because, I don't know, I should be editing videos. I am missing out on uh, watch time and subscribers, possibly. If they fall for my charming personality. Anyway. I am on online every day. Except for on stream days, mostly. I never found out what custom made clothing was in Norwegian. Custom. Custom, custom, custom. You send a lot of clothes back because they don't fit. Hmm. Bye. 
a few different sizes? You buy a few different sizes and then, and you, what? Really? Oh. Yeah, the song. You have to buy, don't you? Mm. I hate that I can't remember the word. It's a horrible, horrible thing. You like to have a piece of clothing that fit? Yes! Agreed. If I have, like, clothing that don't fit, I have no joy of wearing. Don't want to wear clothes that don't fit. It's like finding a needle in a haystack, almost impossible. I like my pants that I found, that I show show it on stream. When was this? You don't you don't pay attention? Wow. I don't think I don't think I was there. <gasps> wow, wow, just wow. That was probably before I even like found your channel. What? No, I showed it, like, just five minutes ago. You weren't paying attention? Um... Wow. I plead the fifth. Oh, but we're not American here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was out there. I, I wasn't there. Uh... Right. We are some insecure person shading. I mean, does it really feel good when like clothes restrict you in any way? That's what I that's the problem I have with pants. They feel too tight and restrictive. Like like the seam is gonna pop when I sit down. Because the pants aren't sewed for my hips. So, sewn, sewn for my hips. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Too tight is a problem. Yeah. I feel like the best would be like baggy from the waist, and then it starts getting skinnier lower towards your legs. Yeah. Okay. The pants are on the screen now. Internal. You want to take a look? I want those. They look good and green, but I have too much green. Not anything that fits. There. Oh, okay. wide up here for my ass <laughs> and hips. Uh, and that's why I was asking if you ever took a glance at somebody with with skin color pants and thought they were naked. Yeah, because I was looking at these. Well, it's not like it's easy to tell if they're pants or not. Like, I don't think they would match with somebody's skin color. This would. This would. Uh, this yeah. would. It's happened before. If you, if it's, if it's only a glance, like if you're not focusing in on it, then. Okay, that one. Yeah, that one. Uh. It'll let me tell yeah, you a story. Now. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Pants. I have these pants. Those I have like these Steve pants. Urkel's and I have pants. these pants. Who? Steve Urkel. Don't know who that is. Oh man, I forgot, <laughs> you're uncultured. I'm uncultured. Yeah. It's just a guy from a uh, TV show. Steve who? Wait, who? Wait, what? Hold on, what? Steve Urkel. Urkel. From the TV show called Family Matters. Oh. It's like a 90s, 80s sitcom. Family? 
matters. You've learned not to buy those kinds of colors as kid teen. You bought some swimming pants in that color. Oh my god. If it's white, you can just look right through it. Oh man. Oh. Oh man. Hmm. They're see-through? Whoa. <laughs> Amazon does pay no money and try the clothes on. If it fits, keep it and pay. Should I buy clothes on Amazon from now on? Brother is in the bathroom. That's her. Dot com or dot co dot uk or dot de. I don't understand dot de because it's in German. Dot co dot uk. Should I write this in 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 UK in? Probably yeah. All right, pants. I'll probably get underwear. Oh, they're purple. Wow. Does this expose me? No. Pants! Oh, so bright. If I wanted bright, I would go outside. Pants! In purple. That probably wouldn't fit me because they're slim fit. Like, fuck you. Slim fit doesn't fit me. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I hate shopping. I would get a try on a couple of pants that's in my size and they don't fit. Oh, cool. Fuck, fuck mistakes. Fuck. Oi, I've got a lot of tabs open. No, I don't. Tabs? Well, yeah, no. Those white striped one looks cool. These? Bought a jacket and the zip was on the other side? Uh, on the back? I'm sorry, what? Zip was on the other side. Confused. I think Hawk is finished with his sue her. Maybe. So it's like finished eating. Or maybe that's in half an hour. That bitch you pull up. But the sip was on the other side. What does that mean? Oh, the sip was on the other side. Like left-handed or right-handed. Left-handed. You mean? I hate that. Don't like it. Sip's on the other side and I'm thinking, it's on the back of the jacket? That's an asylum jacket. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna write pair. Pairs. I don't think it helped. Meh. Meh. That was cool. Meh. Whatever. Ooh. Damn, those are really cheap. <laughs> don't trust it. I don't trust it. I like it, but I don't trust it. Why not? Amazon doesn't, like, scam that hard. Mm. 
Mm. Oh yeah, well there is shipping. Oh, shipping. That's the word. Like five dollars shipping, ten dollars. Taylorstore dot n o for me. Make you. Some websites looks weird. Make a shirt. I don't want a shirt. Give me pants. Are these for men only? S shirts, suits, polo shirts. These ugh, ugh, really? Why? Why are these only for men? Give me something for me. Okay. Why is it only one pair of pants? Why am I saying pair of pants? I don't know. If you'd buy jeans in a normal store, you would need to ask for high waist jeans. Otherwise, they're too short. Ooh. Ooh, shopping is a horrible, horrible thing. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Nah. Yeah, so finding custom made pants isn't easy. There's no online store. Except for, There's none for men. Norway. There are, but they are custom made clothing for men. I... Maybe this website. What do you mean I have to visit in person? Or say. But, 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 it's so far. Who told you not to be flat? Who are you? Mm-hmm. Shopping with shade. That'll be my next series. <laughs> I mean, my first series, you know. I don't have a fr Hey, that sounds yeah. like a banger though. Yeah, right? You have somebody follow you around with the camera. Oh, gosh. <laughs> like, like a vlog, basically. Yeah, a vlog. So awkward. I mean, it's gonna take some time getting used to, but it doesn't sound like a banger. Yeah. Then cooking with shade. I'm still waiting for that one. <laughs> I'm not cooking in the kitchen in this house where everybody needs to go in, okay? Cargo pants are the best! Pockets! <gasps> take a look at the... They don't look pretty, but take a look at the price. If you can't see... It says 2,199, which is like 200 euros or 400 euros. 450? It's insane. Because they have pockets. <laughs> no, because they're custom made. It's it's a sad, I... sad thing. That's way too much. Mm -hmm. Custom sewn clothing is expensive. Chinese sweatshops will do it for 50 cents. <laughs> sweatshops. That's so sad, though. Yeah. 
<gasps> Imagine paying 400 bucks for a pair of jeans. Jesus. I've always been a minimalist when it comes to clothes. A minimalist? Yeah, like nothing too flashy, just casual. Yeah. I wouldn't mind being flashy. But I also like casual because it makes me ahem, invisible. When it matters. I just feel like casual is more comfortable. That, not restrictive. That too, but you could probably look flashy in comfortable clothing as well. You could stand out in casual clothing. Basically. Saw some jeans you have in there on I mean, Instagram? If you have color. Accessories like a hat, a scarf, even jewelry will make you stand out. I've never worn jewelry. Oh, and you'd never wear a hat and scarf because it's too warm. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but jewelry, dude! The coolest sunglasses you can find. A bandana! Oh. Right? I've never really been attracted to jewelry. Well, it is what it is. If you like the casual like and comfortable, like then it's, you know, it's fine. These are worth it. They last a long time. I don't know about that. I don't know. Uh, I agree with Choppy. Mm. I don't know. Well, the problem. Say a hundred dollars jeans. The problem, like, lasted for three years. You want shoes from Morrison, but they don't have your size. Don't. Yeah, but like, I don't think I can find jeans that are sewn for my hips. For some reason, I think that'll be very. Difficult. Ah, oh, I made a spelling mistake. Must fix and be perfect. Didn't matter. Okay, whatever. You just remembered something? Oh? Mm hmm. Yeah, if I want to wear jeans, I will have to lose weight and maintain it. Sounds like a lot of work to me. I don't want to. I enjoy lacing around. Waiting for Choppy to tell us what he remembered. You can go to the levy store, you pick your jeans too big, and then you go into the hot tub. What hot- what hot tub? Sorry, you, I will have to go buy a hot tub first. Does the bathtub count? Or does it need to be really hot water? Really, really hot. We do have a levy store. Levy. Do you have a hot tub in a store? For real? Yeah, I mean, I don't have a hot tub in the store that we have here. <laughs> Morrison's. It's a thing they do to give you perfect fit of jeans. Wow. That must be specific to specific places. <laughs> Ooh, sneakers! Oh my god! That's the store? Wow, 
Those shoes are cool. Dang it. I like my shoes. I like my shoes. Wait, I want a new pair of shoes. Right, I remember. Oh, these are cool. But I still like my shoes. Oh! Found them! Here's my choice of shoes. You've got a little pink on them. I like it. Yeah. Goodbye. Shoes I'll never wear. Your imprint will stay with me forever. Not necessarily the memory, though. Pizza shoes! Pizza! Pizza shoes! Neither's are sandals. Huh? They look like sandals? No, I was asking if you if you wear sneakers or sandals. Sneakers. No point in wearing sandals here. Did you find suit? I haven't bought them. But pizza. Oh, they're not in for thirty-six. Right. Welcome back, Hawk! I am still here, we're having a good time. But that's what happened last time too, you know, when we were awake till 9am in the morning. The signs are there. Uh, don't look, okay? I don't trust anything. I'm opening a new browser. Because I haven't saved on another browser. Does this expose me? No. No. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have my size. Ugh. I always miss out. Because I have to think about the buy. Nice shoes. Yeah, they look like my uh, favorite shoes that are totally wrecked. They they don't look exactly alike. This is the closest. The problem is, is that they are winter shoes. So they got this... This shit inside the shoes to... To keep my feet warm. And I'm... I like wearing these shoes all around. Wait, year around? Fucking hell. Yeah, all around the world. How much is 200? Yes, these shoes are about 23 euros right now. But they're not in my size, and I refuse to get them in black. I'm over black shoes. They are boring. But black shoes prevent people from seeing how dirty they are. People aren't looking at my shoes. Are you sure about that? Yep, I'm sure. That's 24 US dollars, that's cheap. Well, I was talking about euros. So, that's cheap. You think I have money? You think I have money to, to frivolously spend? Frivolously? I don't have money to frivolously spend. What about that YouTube bag? I'm never getting the YouTube bag with my content. Never say never. Alright, it'll take a while, okay? It'll take a long while. And even if I do get that YouTube bag, it's just not gonna be a lot of money. Anyway. I, you know, I need that 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time. Which you'll help me with internal, right? 
watched my 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 stream and all that, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's dying. All right, I suppose it's not helping because he's dead. Okay. It's cheap price. Yeah, true. It is cheap. Just can't spend money like that. Cat socks. <clears throat> Oh, so sad. Do I need to work so it works well? Yes, I suppose so. And you would know better than me. But I don't really care to work YouTube, right? You know what I mean? It's on me. You have three and a half years of no money. That's a long time. I've already done three years. Not necessarily no money, but still. Twitch, man. A horrible place. Why well, I can't see choppy tags? I don't know. Choppy has you blocked. I don't know why tags don't work. Yeah, I don't see those either. Except for... Not there. Never mind. Who else is called Shade? Oh. Who else is called Shade? Am I special because my name is I'm Shade? <laughs> Should I be happy that it's only me that shows up when I write I'm Shade? Or... Hold up. Relevance, engagement, and quality. Yeah, this is really low now. This hurts my freaking eyes. My bad, I was away. Ah. Scrolling through shorts any good on the stream? I don't know. How do you mean? You've lost hours doing that? Are you scrolling through shorts while I'm streaming? Or something? <laughs> oh, 
Uh oh, Toppy exposed himself. Mm, it's not so surprising. Where's my chat? Here is my chat. You're glued to the screen. Oh my god. Exposed has been exposed. But what what you mean, Chop? Watching shorts. See if you find something funny. And do what? Dun 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 dun. I'm hungry and I don't even know what to make. Pasta. Pineapple pizza. Oh, the pasta point of dinner. No. Oh. Okay. Plus, I can't eat pasta all the time. Pasta and pizza. Actually, I've never. I haven't had pizza in a while. <gasps> wow. Maybe like for two months. Holy shit, that's a long time. Oh my god, this scarf is so mean. Oh, wow, it's so expensive. Oh no, no, really. Cute. Dessert pizza. That sounds like clogged arteries. It's my future. You that yeah chocolate pizza no no the syrup pizza with Nutella and banana there you go oh that sounds like an abomination it's got a three stars out of five it's sending yeah it's a recipe. Look how they massacred my boy. Dessert pizza. Dessert pizza. What is on it? It's caramelized milk. Really? Food lines should never be crossed. Where'd you buy this shit? Huh? The what? Dulce de leche. Right. No idea what to buy. Wait. Oh. No. No. No idea. Chocolate pizza. The syrup pizza with white chocolate and raspberries. Right up Choppy's alley. I lost all hope for humanity after watching that. <laughs> you had hope in humanity? Oh my god, that's so cute. Mm -hmm. To be fair, hum humanity can have a restart. Good lord. Think about it. I'm not... I can't think. All it takes is a World War Three. 
Do you want that? No. Debatable. Maybe we need it. Maybe we don't. We're gonna debate about if we need a World War Three. Can bring people closer together. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about that the other day. Like, if there's a disaster in an area, no matter skin color, no matter sexual orientation, humans will come together. Exactly. Yeah. Funny that. Hard times create stronger bonds. Trauma bonds are not necessarily healthy. <laughs> Just saying. What you call trauma, I call opportunity. Uh -huh, right. It's all about perspective. Gotta look at it from a different angle. Mm -hmm. Oh, a chat is gone. Ah, Horizon Zero Dawn. The best game That's ever. That's a bit too far. I'm not trying to be in a prehistoric era. Prehistoric era? I'm not sure that was prehistoric era considering there were robots. The humans were, but um, civilization before that still had robots. But the humans themselves downgraded. Yeah. Promise of a new world right now? You you are not what's that email? I can't see what it's called. What does it say? Oh, chatting. Right. Chatting. Yeah. 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 What actually happened in Horizon Zero Dawn? I don't remember. Maybe we should play it again a third time. <laughs> At least play the West one. I can't. I don't have a console for it. And my my older brother who who would loan me his his PS4 because he wouldn't loan me his ps5 <laughs> he moved away granted it's it's a driving distance and a ferry ride away but it's still far uh... yeah it's like if you want to go there you have to go like early in the morning and then drive back in the evening it's a long drive Feels like a long drive anyway. I have a confession. No. You do? I never finished Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, you poor person. I nearly did. I was close to it. <laughs> but you didn't. I, I don't know why I stopped playing. I really don't. You should finish it before you watch me play it. <laughs> Look like she can't... Uh, but I gotta re-download it. I gotta try to relearn the controls. Oh, so problematic. Basically, every control is like the same in every game now. Except for Shadow of Mordor. That game is, is built different. You haven't finished Forbidden West? Choppy! What? For real? I heard a lot of people didn't like Forbidden West. Oh. Well, I don't... They said it had too much talking. Oh. No. Don't like that. Don't say anything else. I have... Yeah, because... I, I've gone this entire time without a spoiler. 
ever since it came out. It's been over a year. Have you tried the Witcher 3 game? Yes, I have. Yeah? Loved if you can't play games anymore? Why? Your gaming days are over? Does nothing for you? I want to play Witcher 2. Mm. <laughs> Have you tried playing games with people choppy? It's a different experience. Trillies. Full of long talks to be honest, but still fun as hell. Well, yeah, I love Witcher 3. It's a great game. Play with Choppy Warzone is cross platform? Yeah, no. No. Choppy on Warzone? No. No. Meh. Don't think so. You avoided online gameplay forever? Do you think it'll be too addicting? Because <laughs> it's true. Yeah. I would have quit New World a long time ago. If I wasn't in a company that actually cared about, about community. Yeah. Ha. <sighs> My bad. Why did I ever accept? <clears throat> Choppy would be amazing teammate. Yeah, he would be. He would be. Choppy's a total team player. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. That's a good question, Mark. The only game I've had to play solo other than story games, I've sort of quit playing. No joy in playing alone. Street Fighter 2 tournament for your 16th birthday on the what? It was fun. I don't understand. Super Nintendo. Hey, on top, he got lucky. Did he? He did? Oh. SNES is like one of the best consoles ever. Oh. Street Fighter 2 was fantastic. Hmm. Yeah, and nothing can top that. PS2 is still the best. Cough, cough. Cough, cough. 
All your friends in the bedroom floor playing games? I feel like you've done it. I suppose that's I a good feeling. Childhood. But I'm losing out on it. Hawk's losing out on it. We're all losing out on it because Choppy already made it. He quit at that. Aww. Oh. Would it be weird if I just randomly ask somebody who I see playing a game I want to play and like just ask, ask them to play together? Like I haven't talked to them maybe ever or since New Year's. And we're not even friends. That'd be weird. Maybe. Probably wouldn't. Maybe not. That's normal. It's normal? Uff. I've never experienced it like that. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Uh, sorry, Choppy. Did you say something before? Did you say something about... Dopamine? Maybe? And game makers are so good at releasing the chemicals. PS1, PS2, PS4... Ah, oh, I love my PS2 and my iToy. Just ask. I was going to. I was going to mention dopamine. Hmm. Just ask, huh? I hate being rejected, okay? I take that really personally. If I get rejected once, I'm never asking again. That's part of life. Every shot you don't take, you miss. Yeah, well, don't like it. Gets me feeling dejected and rejected. Dejected and rejected. You researched it a bit. So did I. And then I forgot all about it. Don't know what I'd do if I wasn't gaming. Watching movies. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't even watch movies. Unless, uh, well, unless I'm eating something. And then I just watch the end of the movie. If I've already watched it before. Movies these days are shit? Um... I don't know. They are... Are they? I think maybe people's standards are too high. No, because if you rewatch older movies, they were much better in writing and character development. Well, that's a given, because books are books and they have more space for more details and stuff like that. But, yeah. There weren't a lot of movies I didn't like as a child when my standards were lower. Lower your standards. That's the secret to a satisfying life. <laughs> standards are too low these days? Low. No, people's standards are too high. They expect too much. They expect too much from game devs and and, and movie producers and and yeah. oh, Jesus. Lower your standards and everything will be awesome. I feel like they're too high in everywhere else besides movies and games. Like what? Uh, 
I can't name anything off the top of my head. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'll probably pop into your head at some point later after stream. Mm. Even in games, all new games are fucked when they release full of bugs and nonsense. Do you think games? I, I don't know. Did games not have bugs before? They have, but they weren't as broken as modern games. Like, they That's... put more care into older games than the newer ones. They didn't really have the same technology in the old games. Exactly, they were they were making it off of limited hardware. Now they have like more. There's more to work with, which means there's more bugs. They're rushed. You know what wasn't rushed? Sons of the Forest. Jesus Christ! Imagine taking that long and 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 delaying so much, and it's like not even finished. I get it. COVID did fuck a lot, fuck up a lot of things. I will take everything that comes uh, out after COVID with a grain of, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I forgot the saying. <laughs> a grain of something. <laughs> uh. If they got Have near attack, the they should be better. Yeah, I could see that. If they get near attack, they should be better, not worse than old stuff. Not necessarily, no. I've seen The Last of Us. I mean the PC port. The what? The PC port. PC port? Computer. They ported it to computer. They have it on PC. Oh, I haven't played that. But I watched it be played on console. Not that it matters. Because it's the same game either way. But it's extremely broken on computer. Like, it's liter literally unplayable. Because it was made for console? <sighs> hmm. To be frank, all games were made on computers, even for consoles. Made on computer, but was it made for the computer? Did you get but it can still be ported. I need a cable. This this one's not long to reach my PC, so my younger brother said to get a USB hub connect it to the roof, and then another cable to connect the USB hub to the PC. But I haven't done it yet. It takes me time, you know? It takes me time to do stuff. I wish console wouldn't exist. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Every game that would come out would be playable on one single PC. Yeah, It'd be so good. Consoles are amazing for racing game or football games and fighting games. What's that game? My brain's not working. My brother likes to play that game. Aww, Frosty is playing Hunt Showdown. Why do I feel like he's playing Sh Hunt Showdown with Banan? Banana. <laughs> I need to go to the Caribbean and get me some pants. <laughs> Pants. 
chance. I think you'll be saving a lot of money, actually. Would I? I don't... Yeah, because of currency difference. Oh. Euros is worth way more. The console issues lazy as devs who fucks up when porting games to PC. Games will be way cheaper because they don't need to convert it. Oh ho ho! Bro, it'd be so better! When do PC parts price go down? Can they go down, please? PC parts, please? Go down. Price they will in three down. years. Oh. Damn. I bet my left toe. <laughs> I will not hold you to that. But okay. Does this... Uh, yeah, that exposes me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not showing. Mm. PC parts. Gaming deals. Elgato Stream Deck. Extra large. HTC Vive Pro 2 VR. God. Gaming PCs are so expensive. Your PC is already good, though. Yeah, I guess so. It's okay. It's doing okay. And I have two of them. For streaming. One for streaming. Does somebody want to send me about 670 bucks, euros, so I can buy a PlayStation 5? <laughs> sure, I can send some Monopoly. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't want a PlayStation 5. Toppy, you want to send me a PlayStation 5? Since you're not using it? <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my god. This five controllers is actually really good. Though. Really? Oh, right. oh, you can have mine. No, come on. No. Do you like that controller that you? <laughs> no, stop it. Stop. You were typing it. Oh, Choppy, why are you like this? It's so, it's so like you're like too good for this world. Because Choppy actually means it. <laughs> Bro, oh my god. You liked it so much- wait, you, you liked the controller that you bought so much that you returned it? And the VR headset. Wow. Damn. Choppy for president? I'm not sure Choppy would enjoy being a president. I don't know. I don't know that much about Choppy, as far as president go, presidency goes. Yeah. But, I don't know. I don't think presidency is for Choppy. Or, I don't know, yeah. I mean, he could totally do it. I just don't think he'd enjoy it. Way too much responsibility. Choppy's good at responsibility. <laughs> Wait, is this just me or are these prices not bad actually? Uh, or I'm just used to the prices being so goddamn high that okay. You wanna be a weed governor? Time to make your new world company, right?
Oh, oh, Stones, do you want an invitation to the to the uh, company Discord? It's not actually company Discord. Everybody's welcome to join. To be honest. Oh. Yeah. Is that another name for clan? Company, clan, guilt. Yes. I don't know why it's called company exactly, but the roles inside of the company is governor, consul, and of officers and settlers. But it's like a town. You just okay. Hold up. Does this work? No. It doesn't even show. Okay, fine. I'll DM. DM! That should work. Oh, why am I even doing that? Hold on. I'm an itchit. Please. Please. Take it easy on me. I'm a fucking... I'm a fucking... Itchit. This is what happens when you get no sleep. I had more sleep than Mitago did, okay? That's not a very good excuse. I mean, between me and him, I was not tired all day. Coconut something. Coconut stony? Maybe? I think it was coconut stony. How'd you like your new pillow, Choppy? I've been wanting to ask you that. Oh yeah, you have Stony Lena. Excellent purchase. Hey. Brilliant. Yes. Hawk. My company is called Illu. I had to I had to burp for a moment. Wednesday. Everything's better with company. 40. F why am I saying 40? 56, 72, 102. So embarrassing. H how does bowling points work? I'm actually half decent at bowling. <laughs> Even though I never do it. Somehow I end up finding a good way to throw the ball. Can I beat that? I don't know. I haven't been bowling since four years ago. 
but I did amazing. Probably. I bet people who, who bowl usually, like, regularly get uh, a bad wrist. <laughs> ah. Those are low scores. They are? I don't remember how the scores work. Here's a question. What percentage of gamers do you think use cheats? Now really think about it. How many are using them to catch every Pokemon, Pokemon. Or Minecraft yeah, item, or lock on to their enemies in college? I, 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 I'm clicking on videos that, that Hawk has sent me before. What the hell? <clears throat> you can get 300? Oh. Well, I don't know. Wait, what? Wh what? I'm clicking on videos that you've sent me before. You didn't send- are you sure? Call of Duty. Maybe, Maybe not then. Well, Diamonds! Ah, oh, horrible! Lich, a staggering Despicable. Percent of gamers admitted to using cheats. Anonymous. Cheater. Obviously. Cheaters. While using cheats privately in single-player games doesn't really negatively affect anyone. Streaming with them on, <gasps> using them Redonsk. to break world records, or playing with them in mass multiplayer games. Publicly break world records. Or That's a reference to a certain YouTuber. What is a dream? Is that his name? Who uh unknowingly used uh, some cheats. Mass multiplayer games <laughs> tournaments is a huge problem. The need to cheat for the sake of clout has gotten out of control. But not everyone I don't like cheating that, in games. Let's take a look at even more games. I don't like cheating. Period. But games, man. Ruins to integrity. How dare you. Filthy beings. Cheaters. Style. Filthy! Tom, Tommy Trewin is a veteran Call of Duty player who since 2010 has been part of Caldera! won more than 70 tournament matches. It's fair to say Tommy knows this game. They nerfed the Hemlock, by the way. Against Mingo style in, the in Warsaw? I read some of the patch notes. Back in 2020, who had a really <sighs> high kill to death ratio Tommy was suspicious. He and his partner, Almixens, called Mingo Styles' gameplay into question and asked him to set up a monitor cam so they could be sure he wasn't using cheats. Mingo Style obliged. But then, in a move of pure idiocy, he exposed himself for the world to see. No, Let's run it didn't back. see it. Watch his monitor cam footage here, and there it is. We've covered it enough times in previous parts of this series to know that little gray pop-up box is our old pal engine owner. This is a cheat software that offers dumbass, dumbasses, 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 dumbasses. Tommy's followers yeah. quickly alerted him to Mingo style. I'm tired. So I'm gonna end stream. Yeah. Fucking exhausted. Want something more interesting? No, I wanna sleep. And finish my chocolate milk. And go to the bathroom. I wanna take my makeup off, wash my face, brush my teeth, go to bed, sleep. Take a melatonin pill, then sleep. Hopefully. AI 
anti anti cheats. I'm not really interested interested in anti cheats. One out of every three players. Like I I don't NPS really give a shit. I, I don't have a problem with cheaters. And if I do, I don't really notice it. It's way more than that. What does this revelation mean for the future? My younger brother has been running around with this sweater they like wearing. And his his gigantic water bottle. And I don't know how I found out. No, yes. I found what's his Linus Linus Tech stream on twitch i saw his jacket and his bottle of his water bottle i'm like oh that's where he got it from uh, yeah but i'm not really interested in gaming in general tech so tips AI yeah AI i found his twitch stream and, and saw their merch the from pros to streamers, cheating is and then i saw my brother's uh, getting used like my browser's jacket and the end and yeah i'm scared but by the way if you use my link in the description <laughs> it'll show i don't care for sure no link please insane, man. Didn't... Oh. AI. oh my god okay. yeah. yeah man i'm cracked out of my mind keep in mind we have a point system going here and we're trying oh, to I love not that get detected as the hacker by the other players oh Oh. Also, these are the devs that are so graciously donating oh. their time to work on the Waldo project for all of us. I am miss. I'm linking the Waldo Discord and a few other things. Go give them a big thank you. Oh, wait, I remember this. I used to play this. This mode in CSGO anyway. It was fun. Even though I sucked at it because they were just better. And are you releasing your merch? Angles is someone using aim assist. I don't, I don't know, never. I was, I'm thinking home, yeah, honestly. Yeah, that was definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I saw you too. Oh, dude, that's a bad idea, boys. I just left the only person who would buy merch is, is you, and, uh, Choppy? Maybe uh, Melvin. I'll be honest, dude, I just had to double check to make sure they were off. I'm just saying. You know? guess you're left with a one in three chance of getting it correct. The answer will be at the end of the video and in the description. Point is, you can't tell. And if you got lucky, there was a one in three chance, kid. That's how likely it is to run into a cheater if you play one game today. But what we can't see, and AI can, with certain. What's your most wished for like merch? I see how it is. To have smoothing and look natural, look like human aim. But to Excluding me? AI, the difference is night and day. The best way to describe it is like having a You are a very frugal person, Hawk. Someone that's really jacked on steroids. I've noticed. Like the dog. There was no like, mistaking. you know, really what was that game? Hot Showdown? You thought it looked interesting, but you haven't really wanted to buy it. To you want me to buy it to you. Why I'm there. A lot of you know? What about ESP? Oh, okay. yeah, I'm excluding you because I think you're frugal. Based on your experience of, you know, like antagonizing them in game. I mean, there you know? are a lot of things. This is Goat, aka <clears throat> He wanted to know just how many people were cheating in Tarkov. So, he saw cheats with the intentions of finding the cheaters. Kill to death ratio. Well, how would I know how that you're memeing? Everything with his cheat. Game sense hmm? is something that is a really big deal in a game like Tarkov. How to move do I, like, map, do I have look? the luxury to so what is it that he think that you're joking and then, like, joke cheating. about it with you? On like the off chance that you are joking, but you're actually serious, and then no, 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 no. there's bad fit. Oh my god, that's overthinking. That I am overthinking it. Maybe that, that could happen. You looked at them on the radar. They were just constantly looking. Around. I was joking about buying me the game. Yeah, probably. But the point still stands. You haven't. You didn't. You haven't really. You haven't bought the game on your own. So. A E W World Title Replica Belt. Take to the A E W Show. A E A E W. Then why do you assume I want you to buy it for me? I didn't. You said, buy it to me. And yes, might have been a meme. But still. You haven't bought it for yourself. You know? Chose to eat cornflakes. Hey. 
cornflakes. I don't want to watch. Oh. Yeah. If I really want it, I would buy it. I wasn't sure if I should. That's what it means. To be frugal. It's like when I want games but I have to really really think about it frugal you're frugal with your money and so am I like those shoes that I want that I haven't bought no 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 frugal corn flakes Corn flakes. All right. Oh. You are careful with your money. We are learning new words here. Yeah. Yeah, choppy. I, I don't think there's any place that'll make a uh, replica belt. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. Last ones with a design on them? Replica belt. Birch. That's where 3D printing comes in. Ah, the choppy has a 3D printer. Well, there's the solution. If he wants my merch, then why... He can make, him... he can make it himself. Shade replica belts are big business. Replica belts. They are? Really? What all? I too I are on. still waiting for merchandise. <laughs> You're for <laughs> wait no, you've you haven't been waiting as long as Choppy has. Match found! I'm just kidding. Oh my god, that was so loud. Double kill. You scared me when you said that shit. What? The match found. Match found! <laughs> because I just booted it up. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, funny. The smoking skull belt from 1998. Gonna open another YouTube. Anpark Pika 1999. Hey, guess where is me? The ocean of Antarctica? And this stone is, I don't know if you can see, is like different. And also, look here, for the first time in my life, I'm gonna drinking from the ocean of Antartar, uh, Antarctica. <laughs> and I'm gonna drink the water. Clean. <clears throat> it's very salt, like urination and sweat, but... <laughs> I, I, first time in my life, I drink him. And also... 1999, the volcanic erection started here. That mountain used to be volcano. Now he is just mountain, and when the lava comes, he's out, in Norway. Coming out here, and he. I watch a couple more of his 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 uh, videos or reels on Instagram. He's in Norway. Norway, he have a house 
king. And he, he was in Christian sand at the zoo. And this stone is I don't as well. Is like different. And also, look here. For the first time in my life, I'm gonna drinking from the ocean of. He Africa. was four hours away from me. And I'm gonna drink the water. Not a big loss. No. It's very salt, like. Okay. What the fuck is this? First time in my Educational. Life. And also. YouTube is banning me from the. Uh, Hold on. The ocean of Antarctica, and this stone is—I don't know if you can see—is like different. And also, look here for the. What the fuck is this bullshit? Drinking from the ocean of Antarctica. Uh, Antarctica How would he know what urination water? tastes like? We don't. We don't ask questions like that. Very salt, like Just accept it. And sweat, but First time in my no, 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 you can't just brush past no. that. No, we just accept, accept it. Questions no, needs to be answered. No, 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 we accept how it is. From the platform in five. I wish a president would have the balls to say what I'm about to. 10% of Americans don't deserve jobs. Good night. That's a number I can get my head around. But if you don't think 10% of Americans are lazy pieces of shit, then you have never traveled anywhere. Because the number that blows me away is that over 90% of Americans have jobs. Who the fuck is hiring you morons? The sense of entitlement, everyone thinks they deserve more than they have. No one's content. Young kids, I won't even talk to them anymore because you parents have done just a bang up job. If I meet one more kid it's and not ask him bad. what he wants to do when he gets older and he replies, I'll be famous like you, I'm gonna kick him in his teeth. That's not bad. Oh, I love Pog Point, though. I didn't get here because I work hard. I have a gift from God. <laughs> Everybody gets their 15 minutes of fame, buddy. That's an average. Yeah, that's zero for you, 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 you. Zero, 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 zero. 20 years, zero, 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 zero. I wish a president would have the balls to Is say Is he what funny? Ten percent of Americans don't deserve jobs. Good night. That's a number I can get my head around. But if you don't think you never seen his show? No. Of shit, then you have never. I don't watch because comedy. Stand up comedy. Is that over ninety percent of Americans have? It's jobs. really funny. It's toss point home. I I it's really messed up. I sometimes get stand up comedy on Instagram. They're sometimes funny. I even talk to them anymore because you parents have done so. Anime is oh, not real art. I bet you can't do realism. You won't even let me answer her question. Would you like me to answer the question? Would you like to Google the word fascist? Excuse me, I thought VCU rules were that you can't disrupt a peaceful gathering. And no one's doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm having a difficult time understanding who's who. Excuse me, I thought VCU rules were that you can't disrupt a peaceful gathering. And no one's doing it. They're assaulting her! Imagine accidentally activating PS2 hacks. I feel like people like just thought unnecessary trauma. Uh, when people are convinced their opinion is the right one. Yeah. That is not... Unknown word. <laughs> Unknown word. There is 
That counts for all humans. Basically. That's what I want to say. Scrooby dooby doo. Scrooby dooby 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 I don't watch this. Girls aren't really good at video games, so I'm pretty much just gonna rely on you if that's okay. If I got you, I can put you in my backpack, no problem. Oh, thanks, Daddy. You like to be carried? I like it a lot of different ways. Are you good? I got like a 5 inch, I mean 5 KD. A 5 inch? I think I heard that wrong, sorry. That's a probably 5 right. KD, like. Oh. I got two. Great job. I think I'd like to see a little bit more. Like what? Do you have any big guns? I don't really have like any loadouts. Maybe you could drop mm. something for me. You want to see my loadout? Please. You gonna take me somewhere nice after this? I was thinking like Taco Bell. Taco Bell? You, you think I'm like Taco Bell? I mean, you're worth at least two bean burritos. I can't do this anymore. I'm actually a girl. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Why? I was just, no, I was just using a voice changer. Does that change anything that I'm a girl? I mean, it might actually be better that way. What do you mean by that? Did you mean what you said? Yeah. Are you still gonna call me daddy? I can call you mommy if you want me to. <laughs> Oof. Oof, but that was kind of cringe. That was a cringe video. Kind of, kind of cringe. Don't know how people can spit facts so cohesively. Is that the right word? Cohesively. Don't know how people do it. And you're not a woman. You would never really like that, well, that's so different. And you're white. If what does what does my skin color have to do <laughs> with this privilege? Y'all know. Oh, her no, hair. What does my skin color have to do with white dating? Well, what do you mean? Well, I I reject that. But why are we it's bringing? So don't you people. think it's a bit? Don't you think it's a bit racist to bring up skin color in a dating conversation? No, I've heard you say this before. It's not racist at all. There's nothing racist being said. To highlight someone's no, skin I think color. No, that there's a privilege being that way instead of a woman there was coming a to America seven months ago from another country. That's gonna have it and th th if there was a black girl at this table and 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 i was attempting to dismiss her point because of the, her skin color you don't think that would be racist there's no dismissing a point that you was were, the point of it you were saying that i don't have because i'm white i don't I understand don't what's the context you know what you're talking about well i'm a human and you're not a woman i said woman too you didn't say anything about that well i'll address that after cool. i'll address that after but I do, I can have an opinion on, opinion on things because I'm a human with a functioning brain and I <laughs> trying to scroll a short yourself. <laughs> oh, okay, you don't want to watch this. I don't I don't get what that was about, but I'm interested. Uh huh. Do you want me to play you one note, or should I double it and play it for the next person? I mean, like I spent like six months unlocking all of this. Wow, that seems like a bunch of work. Yeah, it was. But don't worry, with a little bit of patience, you too will. Oh. Yeah, no, I just bought it. Uh, apparently, it's part of the new season cosmetic. Where you just spent like real money on it. Oh, I want to buy cosmetic, but it's so expensive. I'm kind of sick of people just buying no. way to go gear. This actually mean something. And I, I could buy shoes for that price. I, I, I mean, granted, they give you like three skins in one package, but it's still like I could bear. I could buy those shoes I like. For those from that, for those, yeah, for that price. Income, which I figured I could allow myself to spend. Telling her yeah. Mexican mom I'm gonna travel by myself, even though I'm 21 years old and I live by myself now. Even though you're 21 years old. Más sabes en dónde quiero ir? Italia. Ay, Italia es hermosa. Por la comida. Ay, sí. No, 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 yo muero por la comida. Pero yo voy sola. Yo, yo me voy sola. No, sola no vas. 
And here's my dad. He's like, ah, please go to the, go to America alone at 18. You'll be fine. Just just call me when you get there. You totally won't get Huh? What? I was saying you totally won't get kidnapped. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Totally didn't get kidnapped. That wasn't the problem, though. Um, a average. A average. I see no good reason why an actor of any race can't play any historical figure. It's acting. Queen Charlotte. You have a question about that? Ask away. Oh, damn. That's good. My back. Yeah. Mask here? Yeah. Sure. Queen. I would watch this show. We thought about it so much, really. I've told that so I told that story a long, long time ago. Ah, trying Selena Gomez in one hour versus, versus ten hours. What about the room service housekeeping? Did you let them in? Did I let them in? Oh! Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't let them in. Hell no. No, I didn't. Why are you interested in that? <laughs> uh. Did she do that in one hour? Bro! That'll take me six hours. Haram? Why are you saying haram? Oh, the sound of stupid and to um yes. and to the next topic i want to talk about which has been trending everywhere is that i got kicked out of the event for cheating there is a cream What the fuck's an affectation? Behavior, speech, or writing that is pretentious and designed to impress. I don't know what's so impressive about this. <laughs> no! I missed it! Now oh, I gotta watch it all over again. The vocal fry. I have a vocal fry sometimes. The fact that you can't <sighs> move on, man. You could probably do it on the phone, right? Trying to get that rabbit mask takes so long. Where are you farming? And how much have you farmed? How many rabbits have you farmed, approximately? 
I mean, you probably already know how many approximately you need to find until you get the mask. I'm, I'm assuming. I'm a cat. Meow, meow. I'm not a woman dressed as a cat. I am a cat. Lindsay, what was actually happening at this school district that made you have to dress up as a cat to prove your point? Um, this was a local school um, in my neighborhood where there was a member of the school board. You remember that, Alan? Paul Bixler. He is a man. He's very clearly a man. And the only thing he does to identify as a female is put lipstick on. Uh, he grew his hair out a little bit, and he wears his deceased wife's clothing. And believe it or not, he actually uh, uh, identified uh, one of two ways. You should Paul, try going. Course, or Miss Sorry, I gotta. I so need to find a good it's one. It's very clear that he has a gender identity crisis. And the point that I was trying to make as a cat. I can't I see. Kind of I don't want the Morningdale City though. I want the map. The map, map. The map. Map, map. We're talking about a new type of indoctrination, and that's what's really terrifying. I am a cat. Meow, meow. I'm not a woman dressed as oh, a cat. Oh, can you see? Lindsay, what was that you should go up here. School district that up to this to area and down again. Um, this was a local school Unless you like there was a waiting the on the Rabbit Island for those Paul he six, is a man. seven, eight, He's nine rabbits and the only that take like seven to minutes to spawn. Uh, he grew his hair out a little bit. And Can I see my progress somewhere? Clothing. And believe it or not, he actually if you skin the rabbit, you get one Paul, game meat which is a man's per man's rabbit. Or Miss which Vincent. is how you tell how so many rabbits you've very killed. Clear that he has a gender identity crisis. And the point that I was trying to make... How many do you need to kill? Was that someone with hmm. this kind of mental illness... Somewhere in between the uh, one to two hundred, you'll get the mask in between 1 to 200 and then in between that to 400 rabbits for the chest Ugly sounding words, words like labia majora, labia minora, perineum, pronunculus, cervix, clitoris. Fun fact one of the things I just said was a Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I that is that my mother was, uh, she studied biology, so my brother and I were raised to always use proper anatomical terminology. That's okay most of the time, but every now and then it's not very appropriate. Like I was with my then girlfriend one time, and uh, I was about to euphemism her metaphor. In the heat of the moment, uh, I used the word vulva. Can't you just say vagina? And I was like, well, no, because the vagina is actually just the canal, just the internal portion, the stuff on the outside. Ugh. That's the vulva. She's like, just stop saying that word. I'm doing you a favor, okay? You can't just go around the rest of your life using vagina as an all-encompassing term for everything between your legs. That's it's like calling your face your throat. I, uh, I think women tend to be less comfortable with their bodies than men. And I think a big reason oh. for that is because the I, name... I, I want to pay attention to this part. You know, Sounding words, words like labia majora, labia minora, perineum, pronunculus, cervix, clitoris. Fun fact: one of the things I just said was a Harry Potter spell. Pronunculum? I don't even know. know. My brother and I were raised to always use proper anatomical terminology. That's okay most of the time, but every now and then it's not very appropriate. Like I was with. I don't even know, man. One time, and uh, I was about to. I want, I want the Harry Potter spell, bro. The moment, uh, I used the word vulva. Can't you just say vagina? And I was like, well, no, because the vagina is actually just the, canal, just the internal portion, the stuff on the outside. Pernunculus. The vulva. She's like, just stop saying that word. I'm doing you a favor, okay? You can't just Why didn't we just check the ch the, the, the comment section? Term for everything between your legs. That's it's like calling your face your throat. I, I think yeah, pernunculus. Yeah. Bodies and men, and I think a big reason for that is because the names we give. Uh, <laughs> 
trend of women filming men subtly looking at them in gyms. It's absolutely insane. If I was a man, I would just go to an all male gym. If a man checks me out in the gym, I'm just gonna smile back. Or if I don't like him, I'm just gonna move away. I'm not gonna whip out my iPhone and then blast him on social media. It's like me too gone mad, gone crazy. But it's funny because I'm actually seeing the repercussions of this. I saw another video go viral of a girl doing a squat with the rack and she's stuck in that position and she can't get back up and nobody is helping her. The man isn't gonna risk everybody laughing at him and calling him a creep by actually going over to help her. Well, these are now the repercussions because when a woman actually does need help, men won't help because they're terrified of being blocked lasted on social media for sexual harassment and if i was a man i wouldn't do it either i'd stay away from these women they're crazy have you seen the trend of yeah agree men suck yeah she's pregnant she already has five children two are deaf two are blind one is mentally retarded she has syphilis should she have the baby no question mark well done you just killed beethoven fucking sense okay keep it fair <laughs> let's do the opposing so okay there's another woman she's pregnant two children great hearing great eyesight really smart she hasn't got syphilis should she have the baby yes question mark well done you just gave birth to hitler <laughs> a woman is pregnant she already has five children two are deaf two are blind <laughs> one is mentally retarded she has syphilis should she have the baby no question mark well done you just killed beethoven that makes no fucking sense. Okay, keep it. We spend two hours getting ready with a group of girls who are each trying to look hotter than the other one. You show up to the club, wait in line, maybe in the cold, and then you get let in for free, right? Because you guys are hot. Little do you know, you're getting let in for free because there's like 300 guys in there who are all trying to get your number simultaneously. And their tactics vary. One's going to walk up to you and during the, uh, 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 your <laughs> Even though you don't want to be talking to it, he stays there. And he keeps asking you questions and then he talks about himself a lot and then you feel a brush on your shoulder it's another man you felt the need to enter your personal space turn you around and go what's your name <laughs> and then you deal with this for the next two hours while being offered coke kill 77 ah sometimes coke depending on what city you're in and turning them down and going you know what i don't think that's enough and that's enough maybe you get drunk enough to enjoy seven. the space that you're in and then you stumble out with your feet hurting from the heat well i was on rabbit island before I, I got told about the other place i parted I, I grouped up with everybody and this one dude this one asshole it's like i got the rabbit mask at five kills and then you get let in for free right i think maybe he like left the group you know, like it wasn't in the group maybe i got rapid mask at five kills have fun farming noobs what a fucking asshole I just told him to have a nice life. Asking you questions, and he talks about himself a lot. I said, "Gigi, have a nice life." It's another man. You felt the need to enter your personal space. Did you finish? Did she finish? I did not pay attention. I have seen those videos. Those videos are fascinating. Like they wake up one day and they're a woman. That's a very mature of you. Some... There was a guy on NPR. Was it? On, uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's. Who sometimes it's more fun to uh makes perfect sense to me in the middle of having a conversation i roast him <laughs> i'm not that kind of person so did, when he's more stressed does he switch into a woman and it's drama sexist, right i mean i think that like if he was stressed at work and he switched into a woman and started crying that seems kind of sexist to me that's implying that women are the people who cry at work so you know. that is sexist also this raises a bunch of other weird questions like okay if well like, there's there's been this again you want to talk about weird there's been this 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 weird push in parts of the trans community to suggest that a male who doesn't want to have sex with a biological male who says he's a female <laughs> is a is now a sexist against transphobe. women is a transphobe right you're yes. a bad person if you're a man who doesn't want to have sex with a man a biological man and it doesn't make you gay to do that have you, you know? ever seen i cannot pay attention anymore i can't pay attention uh, i'm trying to videos. those videos are fascinating like they wake up one day and they're a woman and the next day they're a man and so, there was a guy on NPR on um, gender fluid podcast. really does seem like a polite term for semen. Stress. Okay. So, perfect sense to me. Right. In the middle of having a conversation, I just switched. But I'm, I'm Paul. Is it not, what, what is this? Gender <laughs> fluid? That'd be really sexist, right? I mean, I think that like if you stressed mm. work, you into a woman and started crying. The way that I understand gender fluid is that they they um they feel comfortable identifying as a man and a woman 
and at different intervals. Is that a moth? How does a moth come in here? Moth. Oh, I'm gonna send that to Feral. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe he actually is interested in talking to her and asking her out on a date, and he's waiting for the right moment because that's how it works yeah. when you meet people. You look at them. I'm gonna put on I don't think I like these two. This duo. I don't know. Why do they wear and then go to the gym and then oh, get mad. I watch them too. I love their content. Oh, you do? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I like them. Like, this is a this is a woman putting down another woman. interested in talking to her and asking her out on a date and he's waiting for the right moment because that's how it works when you his mom people. you look at them well i don't care i don't care about that part she is shitting on a fellow woman and then get mad when men find me attractive it's toxic all right like women don't already have a difficult time We didn't see the whole video. The man who assaulted you? I did. Okay, can I get? We only saw yeah, he was a reaction five, video. Nine, five, ten. Which is heat after me. Okay. Crispy, juicy, tender. I just put my new voice on into a blender. No. Heat after me. Okay. Chris this woman, she already had some kind of masculine features, like deeper voice, deeper whatever. She decided to be a man because she wanted to see how men were treated. Not sex change, an experiment. She ended up killing herself after like a year and a half of this because she said she was treated so horribly by women that she couldn't even believe that this is how men lived. And I was like, no fucking way, but I can see it. I can see that you guys don't- It's almost 6 a.m. That we need to hear because you're, you want to love us. Bro. You want to support us, you want to be there for us, but you guys are supposed to be, you're supposed to be the strong one. Yeah. You're supposed to be these things, and yet we've been fighting to be your equal, fighting to be the alpha, fighting to be, and out of kindness, you guys are stepping back, but it's a losing war for both of us. This woman, she already had some kind of masculine features, like deeper voice, deeper whatever. She decided to be a man because she wanted to see how men were treated. Hungry Not shape? sex change, mm -hmm. an experiment. She ended up killing herself a little bit. A year and a half of this because she said she was treated I mean, so she's not horribly I haven't by snacked. women that she couldn't even believe that this is how men lived. And I was like, no fucking way. But I can Ow. see it. I can see that you guys don't speak up. You don't say the things that we need to hear because you're you want to love us, you want to support us, you want to be there for us, but you Yeah, where are your blueberries? They're in the kitchen. Probably. If somebody didn't eat them. Which can happen. They're in the kitchen. Was afraid of the dark and would sleep with a light on well into adulthood. Queen Elizabeth I of England was known to have a sweet tooth and was particularly fond of Queen. My name is Marza. I am a mother. Mom sued by teachers union for questioning curriculum. By the teachers union simply because Why? I wanted to know what my kindergartner would be learning in school. And here's how this happened. I asked For real? For real? The curriculum in Norway is, is public. If parents wanted to find out what's on the curriculum, they would find out the curriculum and my school told me I had to submit a public records request. The curriculum wasn't posted online and it wasn't available in a school district. Then I asked them if they were teaching gender theory and they told me that they don't call children boys and girls and they embed the values of gender identity into every classroom including kindergarten and they didn't want to answer any of my questions further. They told me that they would communicate with me only through public records requests and that is the only way I could get my questions answered. And when I did submit the public records request that they told me to submit, and I submitted hundreds because I had hundreds of questions, 
Are you saying my blueberries should be in the kitchen? Choppy? Or are you saying the curriculum should be public? I assume it's the, the curriculum should be public, not the blueberries should be in the kitchen. Because the blueberries should be right here with me right now so I can snack on them. <laughs> Why don't you get some? That means I have to get on my chair. And like, it's 6 a.m. and I'm probably in the stream soon. So I'm probably getting out of the chair anyway at some point. <laughs> You have the same feed as me. You've definitely seen this video floating around the internet. National is curriculum is, is public here. So it takes yeah. about two to three weeks to fully saturate your. The more yeah. he asks, the worse the answers get. For 15 seconds, are you tongue kissing your cousin for 25k? An instant yes, dude. Chad, you tongue kissing your cousin for 15 seconds for 25k? Laziness is over 9,000. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I know he doing it. I ain't even asking him. You, He's not even going to ask. Okay, you doing it? You, like, you have to ask me a question. You tongue kissing your cousin for 15 seconds. For 25k. I do it for negative 20 bucks. I give her 20 bucks. You got to come out of you. I pay her. <laughs> yeah, stupid. For 15 seconds, are you tongue kissing your cousin for 25k? Military humor, guys. 25k to kiss my ex. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the more he asks, the worse the answers get. For 15 seconds. Are you <laughs> my parents got divorced when I was one, and my mom was dating this guy. He broke up with my mom and started dating a woman directly across the street. So I remember my dad came in. My dad's like an old school, like, you know, Italian guy from... Kind of ironic that a white man <laughs> is wearing a woman for Trump and a feminist for Trump when I can... Did you kill 400 rabbits? A feminist. I don't think I did, no. You said, you said white man. Okay, I, I see your point. How do you know I'm not a woman? I see your point. I see your point. No, I haven't killed 400 rabbits. I keep killing rabbits though because I'm hoping I'll get like second drops of the chests. No, I don't necessarily want second drop of the mask, but I want more chests. Whoosh! Over my head. Oh God! Why should I believe that Jesus was resurrected? Because the historical evidence is that okay, he really died. Okay, you show me medical, really you show me medical records, and I'll believe it. Okay, you show me Jesus Christ medical records, I'll be, I'll buy into, I'll be a Christian for days. Sam, they didn't keep medical records in the first century. Oh, that's so convenient, isn't that? That's wonderful. Father, it's real convenient for you to say, knowing full well they didn't. Is this sped up? Century, it's so convenient for you to say, if you give me the medical yes, records, yes, it is. I'll Unless we have it on Polaroid, I can't believe it. Knowing full well they didn't have Polaroid. <laughs> it did speed it up because it was too long for a short. Why should I believe that Jesus was resurrected? Japan has a huge problem. His hair is flying. Look at this beautiful old house that I bought in central Tokyo last year for very cheap. He's Swedish. It might need some renovation work, but if you have dreams and a vision, for example, I dreams. He sounds like PewDiePie. Make these houses totally livable. Look at these beautiful. When someone insults you, sometimes the most charismatic thing you can do is show that it doesn't affect you. One way you can do this is by answering rude rhetorical questions. Robert Downey Jr. does that very well. I think you've read six books in your life. I've read six. Six. What kind of... Oh, bleh. Men don't care. Because I'm one of you. And you know. Like if I say guys jerk off to basketball hoops. Uh-huh. So apparently I'm racist. I'm transphobic. I'm uh, bigoted. I'm homophobic. It's all baloney. I've heard lots of people, yeah, but you're not compassionate, <laughs> are you? Because I have been subjected to more foul abuse on social media than I have in the last few days since this campaign started against me. The gender lobby group, which is highly abusive, they want everybody that they don't agree with to be fired, cancelled, destroyed, and everything else, they demand I get fired. Because we only want people sitting here that you agree with. And I say, most people think the concept of 100 genders is utter nonsense. Yeah. And then it takes me to say, on television, get away from this, this ridiculous troll freakery stuff that no one's allowed to challenge it. If it's to me that says that, I'm going to say it. And you're not going to stop me. And you're not going to get me fired. And what you're does that mean? So apparently I'm racist. I'm transphobic. I'm uh, bigoted. I arrived here three years ago, still learning the language. English is a very difficult language. And you guys make English even more difficult than it should be. Oh my, know. sounds amazing. So the other day a person saying, don't call me he or she, call me they. 
and I was like, what the fuck? His, his, his accent is amazing. Such a boring event though? Oh yes. I mean, all you're doing is killing rabbits. You're not the only one who thinks so. How did you find the new route? Is it better or worse than waiting on an island? I don't even want to hear what he's saying, I just want to listen to his accent. And he said, they are here. <laughs> so you tell them that they are going to eat all of this fucking food. I arrived here three years ago, still learning the language. English is a very difficult language. And you guys make English even more difficult than it should be. I don't know why. I saw the other day a person saying, don't call me he or she, call me they. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it took me three years to learn I am, you are, he is, she is. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. I invited a friend to have dinner at my house the other day. And he was like, oh, I'm bringing a friend. And I said, of course, bring him. And he was like, no, 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 no. Bring them. So I bought a lot of food. <laughs> my friend showed up at my house. Big funny person. Okay. Big funny. So I said, where are they? <laughs> I, I wish I could think of it. So dumb. Kind of funny. Right? Yeah, I Killed like 40 rabbits there so far. Ah. That's very nice. That's awesome. I killed about 150-ish rabbits around Everfall. Because I'm a Muslim, I have a certain view of how you should live in the world. No, 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 not you as a Muslim, you as a person. My Muslim is part of me. This is not you. It's me. I'm a human, I'm a Muslim. So how come you got to be born into a Muslim family? Where you're born doesn't determine what you become. You're just an example. This is where that thinking process comes in. Allah says in the Quran that everyone is equal in the sight of Allah. The ones who are given greater preference are the ones who are conscious of God. That's nothing to do with your background, nothing to do with your race, nothing to do with what religion you're born in or anything like this at all. Everyone has a little bit to do about where you're born. Whether you're born in the non Muslim family and you search and you find the path, because there are some things that are innate. Like you said to yourself, you saw the blueness of a particular God and you asked the question, you knew there was something. That's a lot of talk. True or false? Only women get pregnant. True. <laughs> true. 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 Very true. Absolutely true. True or false? Only women get pregnant. False. False. Because there are trans people that exist, and trans men can also be pregnant as well. Uh, false. And what are your pronouns? Uh, they, them. <laughs> that I would just love oversimplifications. True or false? Only women get pregnant. True. <laughs> True. True. Oh, you finally made it. Didn't think it brings smoke. Here's what was always said around me when I was growing 99 up. 99% quotation. the letters of sister, it's... Maybe... Excuse me? I don't need to approach you? I hope this is a good one. Ma'am. You can, can walk you? back that way. Yeah. Keep walking back that way. Can you de-escalate a little bit? Because I feel like you're trying to just exert your authority over me and I don't like I'm it. I'm not. I'm speaking to you in my normal voice. You have no authority over me. Okay? Actually, I do. I'm in a public building. I'm conducting and lawful business. And they're asking you to leave. I'm conducting lawful business. No, they didn't. That's yes, a lie. Yes, they did. They did not ask me to they leave. They asked you to leave and they said that I'm you conducting no business. To be I'm here. conducting business. So therefore, you need to leave the location. I'm conducting business. I'm doing a Freedom of Information Act request. They asked you to leave. So you're saying, can I get a supervisor here? Right here. Right there. Hi. I'm conducting lawful business. I'm an okay. independent journalist exercising okay. my freedom of freedom of press right. Okay. It's a right, not a privilege. Freedom of press. This is a public building. You guys have one, two, three, four, five officers here, six, including yourself, Sergeant. I want more! I don't need to approach you. I think that's probably what they wanted me to do. They don't have videos. Where are the videos? How can you do this to me? That's probably gone. Can we get it back? Oh, yeah, good. Excuse me? Can you stay right there? I don't need to approach you. No, you can stay right back there. I think it's on a different channel. 
Oh, probably. They never give a source. Can you de-escalate a little bit? Because I feel like you're trying to just exert your authority over me and I don't like it. I'm not. I'm speaking to my normal voice. You have no authority over me. Is that the whole video? They all did the walk of shame after their... I'm not sure I trust it. <laughs> probably true, though. There's this little thing that happens on Instagram when people ask for like the name of whatever movie the reel is from or song. No, no, not song. But... When they ask for, oh my God, shut this up! I can't remember the word now. Got distracted. Elaboration of what happens next in a reel. Of what happened people like just write up nonsense stuff they make up a story kind of annoying can't trust anything ah. yeah, so oh my god <laughs> my it restarted oh well might as well end it then because it's sleep time. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Wait. Wait. So, okay. Wait. All right. Great. Nå har vi prøvd lære norsk i et par uker. Spent på hvordan har det gått? Um. Yup, that's me. You're probably wondering what I'm doing being interviewed on national TV in no? Norway in rapid fire Norwegian. And frankly, right no. now, I'm concerned that I didn't even understand that question. But let's throw the clock back a little bit. So Wait until you have the job. Okay then. VG, which is apparently Norway's biggest newspaper, asking if they could interview VG. me for a story they were doing about me on their TV show. And given how much I love learning languages, maybe I can even try to learn a little bit of Norwegian for the interview as well. He asked. The language you know, guy. There's a language guy. There's more languages. language guys. Here to do not only the entire interview in Norwegian, but also to do it two weeks. Every later. time I go on VG so website, Friday, May 6th, I'm not really learning anything. I have just cool. purchased like, the the tickets. news. And the interview is scheduled for the 26th. You've taken the challenge, you're going to be studying Norwegian for a bit, trying to learn uh, what you know about uh, the Norwegian language, maybe the culture. I don't know a single word in Norwegian at this point. Roughly two weeks, two weeks time to, to learn the language before you get over and uh, have a little test over here. It'll be interesting to see what you come up with in that short amount of time. We'll, uh, we'll test you a bit. That's great. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know what? This works uh, for you guys both ways because, like, if I do great, then it's an interesting, you know, challenge. If I do really badly, fake internet polyglot exposed, right? But first, a quick shout out to Displate for sponsoring this video. So I actually just moved, mostly because we needed a bit more space Aww. for this little guy, and the so walls cute. were looking kind of bare. So Display hooked me up with some high quality metal posters and I gotta say, I'm absolutely mm. loving them. They have over a million designs, including nah. licensed content from shows and movies printed directly on metal to the video. Cute, baby. So excluding weekends, I have about two weeks to learn Norwegian before my flight. This my video is surprising people. For two hours per day. I have maybe seen him talking in, uh, in some African language, you don't remember which one. Maybe? Was it? Not sure. Or maybe, uh, and then maybe another one with an Asian language? Don't remember which one. Perhaps. Which equates to 24 hours of total study time. Most of this time I'm planning on spending with tutors, and I'm gonna be trying to just speak from the very beginning because. Yeah, he bought a shirt. I need to learn this yeah. language as fast as possible, and you know, I don't have time to sit around with, with like grammar exercises and stuff. Not saying you can't learn through grammar exercises, but I, I just don't got time for that. To explain to you like what, what I'm doing, Lost. they challenged me to learn Norwegian in two weeks and then fly to Oslo and Am I watching on stream? TV interview there. So I <laughs> though? I, I don't yeah, watch a lot of videos on stream. Yeah. Usually. And I already got the plane tickets, so I have to learn Norwegian in fifteen days. Um Okay, so you're going to Norway like yeah, in two weeks. Yeah. And the way that I learned was by asking these teachers what stuff meant in Norwegian and then writing everything down in what was to become a 61 page Google Doc full of Norwegian sentences. How would you say like I am Norwegian or I am American? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same verb. It's just yai ar. Like this is the conjugated form of ova. Yai ar. Yai ar norsk. Yai ar amerikansk. Yai ar norsk. Yai ar. God, the rolling R, man. Ugh, so I'm starting to think I may have bitten off more than I can chew with this challenge. Usually the videos that I do, I like know exactly what like I'm Like if I was not Norwegian and I would learn Norwegian, like Norwegian, I, I, would learn Norwegian I would have problems with rolling R2. ...that I'm expected to be able to participate in. And just to be clear, the oh. journalist hasn't given me any questions in advance, and so I have absolutely no idea what he's going It's so to difficult so to learn a second language. language. Typically know upwards of 10,000 words. Now, I don't yeah. have time to learn I suppose so, considering I haven't managed to learn a like third a language, I mean. A2 level, where, like, I can have an open-ended <laughs> conversation about Since a bunch English of English is my second I language. I need to know, like, at least 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 words for this. How do you even, how do you even, uh... Pronounce that. I'm getting a little bit nervous for this. Eh. But, um, so. Eh. I One thing I did want to add about studying Norwegian that I find really eh. funny is how many oh. of the words uh, uh, sound oh. like. Well, for example, kaka means cake, fuck disc means fuck actually, disc. and shit cockin means <laughs> meatballs. Yeah, I'm not making any of these up. So What's wrong with those, huh? AKA Norway's Constitution Day. What shit is that true? Oh, I want one of those dresses, man. But they cost a lot of money. Oh my god, did you see it? They cost so much money. Hi, how are you? Dude, how are you? I'm very good, I'm very good. Do you have hot dogs? Yeah. Sit in the mic. What do you say, man? Hot dog, Panosh? Kulsep. Kulsep? Yeah. Okay, Kulsep. Give it a little bit. Kulsep? That's a great pronunciation. Oh. It's a bit too hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you still have Norske, um, Vanskele, Vanskele, yeah, 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 lit, lit, Vanskele, lit Vanskele. Like <laughs> How are they doing that so well? Yeah, holy hell. hell. So, yeah, yeah, oh, holy hell? Bruce? Yeah, holy hell. Bruce? Bruce, yeah. Bruce right? Yeah, but you want the, the Norwegian, like, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, that one. Okay. Okay. Look at it! <laughs> so cool! Oh, I want one. I want this. <laughs> But they cost like a parade dress. Twenty-two thousand nine hundred base. Norwegian. I don't know how much. Uh, what? Call him what? Internal. Is that like for per for the parade? It's for special days, like uh, Norway's national. Uh, day 17th of may and maybe you can use them at weddings at confirmations i mean at weddings if it's like acceptable with the, the couple in charge <laughs> couple in charge and they said like hey could you learn norwegian too yeah. i like them i want it that's like that but they're too expensive is that for me? I'm gonna go sleep. All right, bro. Have a good night's sleep. Well, I hope you enjoyed the stream today. What do I say? I will shoot it. I will shoot it and flag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I will shoot it and flag. Okay. Okay. I can eat it. Sture. Sture. But it costs the same. So then, durere. Sture. Bigger. Extra big. Okay. Sture. Sture. Okay. How much does it cost? How much does it cost? Yeah, I can tell it. Sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars. Okay. Sixteen dollars. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. Who's the man? I feel so Norwegian right now. This is very. This is very strange. How much is twenty? Okay. Twenty-three thousand base. That's not counting for the silver. Somehow I've made it to Oslo, capital of Norway. I'm jet lagged. I've been on the plane for like ten hours. It's so crazy to be here. I don't know, man. Thousand two hundred. And now I'm in freaking Oslo. Like, what? Everybody speaks Norwegian. I don't know. It's, it's making me a little nervous. And they all speak way better Two. Norwegian than I do. Two. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to impress anybody with my Norwegian here, guys. 2,200? Reindeer stew. That's right. This is reindeer. Let's 
try it, huh? Probably not gonna be on like my top 10 foods of all time list, but you know what? It's an experience worth having. All right, a little bit nervous now, guys, but we're going to the interview and wish me When luck. you go to a different country, but they don't have subtitles. Ari, from here, Norwegian, and now he's here. Subtitles. Ari, how are you? How have you been? <laughs> I'm, I'm good, I'm ah, good, I'm good. You guys ready to uh, expose me? Very ready to expose you. Why didn't you tell so, me before? Right. Over now. All right, great. Now you've learned Norsk in a few weeks. Oh. Spent on how it's going. Ja, jag jag har lärt jag har lärt norska i i två eller tre veckor. Vad processen var? Hur har du lärt? Ja, jag har lärt jag har lärt bara på bara vid bara vid snakker bara vid snakker. Så så hela dagen jag 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 lär jag lär jag lär med 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 lär på på nät. Så jag liker jag liker att lär vid vid snakker för de för de jag ser nästan att det är det är mer Mer uh, för för mig det är mer mer rast så ja. Och vi snarare förra gången vi snakket sa du att du har lärt upp till runt 20 språk kanske mer än 20 språk. Hur rangerar norsk på den uh, vanskelighetsgraden? Ja, yeah, uh, så so, jag syn jag syn att norsk är norsk är. The fact that he did this in two weeks is impressive as hell. Det är det är lite 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 engelsk. So, um, Very understandable. It seems that it's less difficult than other languages that I've learned. This dude got talent. He speaks from India. I wouldn't call it talent. I would call it very persistent. But of course, Norsk is not like like a language. Like all all of sprak, all sprak, er ikke er ikke er 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 vanskeli or er ikke ikke let or or lare or lare rask. This brain is working. Good lord, his eyes are going all over the place. Eller tre okker, så 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 now jeg er jeg er lidt 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 nervøs, ja. Ja, og du klarer det vel en fin så langt. Jeg har nu 50 by nu. Jeg har ikke gættet så. Det kunne det at det lidt norsk laks, norsk laks, det var godt. Har du lärt något mer om Norge? Nej, jag har lärt många, många, många om Norge. Um, speciellt, speciellt, uh, speciellt, speciellt för din nu jag är nej jag är in 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 i Oslo. Um, uh, jag insåg att uh, att um, Norge Norge är en, en vackert land. Um, uh, naturen natur, naturen är 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 väldigt vackert. Uh, also um, His vocabulary is uh, amazing. Er, er fina, ja. <laughs> och så. Um, uh, och uh, je, je, je sina sat också norr. Grammar is uh, great Oslo, too. Oslo, Oslo är en fin by. Um, je liker, je liker att spisa uh, norsk, norsk maten uh, här. Um, uh, je je insåg inså att um, nordmän älskar Pulser. Not me. <laughs> like, <laughs> really they're inter interessant. You haven't been there for a long time, about a day. Have you got an impression of us Nordmen? As a people? Uh, yeah, uh, Nordmen, Nordmen, are, uh, Nordmen are uh, very, uh, very hyggelig. Hig um, uh, you've proved, you've proved that you have Norsk har, but um, det är en 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 problem som som är um, well like first problem är är, är att är um, är uh, nordmän alla är snakkar väldigt gott engelsk så so, <laughs> det är det är lite vanskeligt when you want to practice a new language but they just switch to English um, många folk i uh, många folk i butiker snakkar like är inte från Norge så so, um, de snakker bättre uh, engelsk än norsk så so, ja yeah. men 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 like norrmän är är um, är är väldigt är väldigt uh, hyggliga och um, och är um, är väldigt um, överraskat för att uva norska med med jag. Men här är det något du önskar att fortälla om på den här språkresan. Jag liker jag liker väldigt gott norsk. Norsk, 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 norsk,
o je líkir o vare har oxo je sinas ad oslo er en veldifin bi o igor igor var je i bad stuen je lik je likto o bade i havet so alo men det var veldi um veldi veldi kalt so so um ja men men je 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 er veldi um like uh, grateful for namle track namle for um for that uh, that um experience <laughs> yeah i'll be perfectly honest here and tell you that there were one or two questions there that i didn't fully understand and for which we had to briefly switch back to english but overall i'm really proud of how i did given the constraints of this challenge and although making this video required a huge amount of time and effort if it can inspire even one person to start learning a new language today it will have been worth it Thanks again to Displate for sponsoring this video and making this adventure possible, and make sure to check out their link in the description. That was not bad. Ah, uh, ah, uh, bash the pee. I'm shook. You what? I'm shocked. You're shocked. Yeah, that was awesome. That was good. That was great. You did good in two weeks. Dude, he did really great in two weeks. Mm. I have to pee. you say bro We'll never know. Hey, congratulations! Congrats! 173 kills. It's a big lion. Yes, it is. Yeah.
Wait, is that who I think it's it is? It's getting harder yeah. and harder to make these videos without getting recognized. So we had to go all out this time. Is that a smile left, I think? Is it improving? I'm not gonna smith the... I'm not gonna the... smile right now, but... That's when the vault, you know? Yeah, well, we, we only see the crux seats. <laughs> yes, we do. Are you been to Funk Mule? Yeah, is that I'm James gonna... Bond? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Frederick, Fred, 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 Yes, you are. So, yes. I'd like to see you tie your My baby! Serious? Okay. Look. Oh, man after my own heart. Okay, uh, yeah, we can tie the bowline. That's no problem. Most people, uh, most of the time when we teach knots, we teach yeah. in a double figure of eight. But actually, I find um, that knot quite annoying. This is, really? This is what we use in uh, general. I, that's what I use. Yeah, I've no this problem is... with that. So, I just want you to imagine that you're on a lead climb, clipping in to that left hand. Fine. Okay. Um, do you know what a backflip is? I don't know what a backflip is. Uh, I don't know anything actually. I don't I think know shit either. That's, um, that's like a double backflip. Yeah, but I've been, but, uh, I've been, yeah, it's fine. I've been climbing okay, well, for like. A... Floor, okay. That's a backflip, right? I'm sure okay. you know that. Yes, yes, years. No worries. Yes. Sure no, no. Uh, we're gonna go into the other room. Yes. Um, do you know what an auto belay is? <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll show you. No problem. Okay. So very short. Oh, baby. Yes, we call those uh, tails. Oh. Hey. That's just, it's just for practice. Oh, baby. So, so climbing shoes baby. can be kind of tight. Yes, you are. What climbing shoes did you have in the past, Margaret? Oh. Uh, yeah, I, think, I think they were higher. They were higher up on the on the leg, like boots. Yeah. All right, let's inside. Oh, baby. This, this bouldering section. This is called the wave. Okay. okay. Uh, it was wow, they made the uh, wall the look like rock. Of outdoor limestone yeah. climbing. Cool. Yeah. And the, well, the idea is the idea is you're going to be following okay. one color. Okay. 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 Well, we'll we'll do some of this later if you like. Yeah. I don't this like is, that. This is bouldering. Uh, okay. Bouldering is you know you you know what bouldering is it's climbing. My baby. I I know that I've done yeah, well before, baby. but I never yeah, bouldered. In the Franken. Oh my baby. Yeah, no, no one bouldered. Uh, no, 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 they didn't. But this was actually this was made about 30 years ago when bouldering was just oh, okay. beginning. So Jerry Moffat, you had Ben Moon, you had oh. guys, you had other beasts like gonna... Malcolm Smith and guys like that. Okay. They built this gonna... wall, and it was supposed to be similar to the <coughs> limestone around Sheffield. You have this in, the same I mean, type of rock. In the jungle, we would call this the Sheffield. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so yeah. um, basically, climbing. So that someone else is ready to climb. I'm so Where bad at climbing up? though. Set it up here. Yeah, perfect. I haven't okay. climbed for I'm clip you into this a while. For safety. This is, is this is a bit. Are you sure about that? All you gotta do. Oh. What's in the chest? What's in what chest? Are you sure about that? There we go. It's a storage chest, yeah. It's a storage chest of uh, a thousand and fifty yeah. weight. Get your clip. That's it. Clip that quick draw in front of you. Yeah, that'll, yeah, nice one. You sure it's gonna hold me? Ah, uh, yeah, it will, for sure. Is he being secured <laughs> yeah, from down below? Good. I you assume try so. Swap your feet, maybe. Uh, other side of the rope, if you can, Frederick. So you don't want to get your legs behind the rope. Yes, good man. Yeah. Come on, go on, go for it. Left arm up. Yeah. That was so fake. <laughs> that was so fake. That was such a fake fall. Like split second, yeah. where it feels like there's nothing holding yeah, no. you. Did I pass or? Yeah, it was. It was okay. Yeah, you, every every clip was correct. There was that. One I would have been too scared, scared to climb. Uh, are you afraid of heights? Yes. And you saw that your leg came okay. behind the rope. Yeah. Okay. So that's a problem. It's perfect. No, but safe. I'm afraid to pain, to breaking to bones. Well, you're said, secured okay, the by the. Kind of like Rope that comes down from like, yeah, from yeah. above. You understand the principle, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Did you have these in your in the old days? I meant like I climbing a real yeah. mountain, yeah. real yeah. cliff. Well, then you yeah. will be secured from down below. 
Hmm. Somewhat. Are you happy going up the purple climb here? So on your Anything can go wrong. Yeah, yeah, the purple and orange box. You, know, you could get... You, you, you could get driven over by a car. Actually, I believe there's more car accidents than there is accidents with the elevator. It's really, it's really important that you have that on the foothold. Okay. Not to the side. So how high would you say this? Okay, take a clip back. Jokes on you, I don't take yeah. elevators. Yeah, oh, you take the stairs! Whoa! The stairs. When it's convenient. Nice <laughs> one. Oh, God, I wish the climbing halls were as empty as this. They probably emptied it for filming. Wait, why are they filming this, actually? What's their excuse for this guy filming this? Yeah, nice one. You got a foothold for there. memories. But he's tricking the, the, the teacher to think that he's never climbed before. But that the guy right there is very known in the climbing community. He's got a whole book and whatever not. Go on. That's it, nice one. Keep going. And then the right hand, and then you can get your clip. He's fake you shaking so much. Yeah. That's it, come on. But. There you go. Yeah, it's kind of fake. Very yeah, shake. But people do actually shake like that. But not that. Nice one. Elaborate. Right, you're sorted now. Come on, Frederick, get your clip whenever you can now. Come on, Frederick. That's it. No. <laughs> Get your clip if you can there, Frederick. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Nice one. Adam, I love securing one. people, though. That's, the that's fun. Take, probably, so that's good. It I'm relaxing. Yeah, think it was something like yeah. he's an old climber that wants to see her climbing. Old, old climber? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't look that old to me. Martinus, the he is uh, he's thirty four years old. Worried about falling. Mm -hmm. That's it. Get, get your clip if you can there. Come on, clip away there, Frederick. That's it. Lovely. Come on, fight through. Come on, Frederick. Yeah, yeah, nice. Come on. Come on, you got it. You got it. Nice. Come on, don't be a pussy. <laughs> don't be a pussy. It. Come on. <laughs> We're screaming. No, nobody likes screaming anywhere at any point. Unless. Yeah, maybe. Mm. I try with magnesium because my fingers are very slippery. Oh I yeah, I forgot to get you the chalk. <laughs> I'll get you, I'll get you I never use a chalk bag. No, thanks. Oh, nice. You skip the cliff at the top. Excellent. It's going to be like a big fall, but for me, you shouldn't clip the one on the head wall. It's a waste of energy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I but did always uh, wanted to you're, try you're bungee very, jumping. You're, you're psychologically far ahead of oh, the people, I bungee think. jumping. So, I'm afraid for my limbs if I ever do that. Whiplash, you know? I don't know how I could feel. I thought they had protection uh, for something like that. Yeah, I, mean, I, think I don't know. Have very good, uh, you have a very good attitude to climbing. You know, you try, you try very hard. Mm -hmm. So it would be interesting to see if we put you on something super difficult, how you get on. Okay. So uh, I'm thinking maybe. Uh, super yeah, difficult. Oh, 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 cheeky knee. Good to see. Ah, oh, incline oh, walls are like so that. hard. <sighs> Come on. I can't do them. Yeah, yeah, really good. Come on. Oh, Too weak. Nice. Yeah, really uh. good. Come on. 
Yeah, this guy started climbing when he was like 10 or younger. And he's stuck with it. And I think he might have had eating problems. Like, because uh, when you're a climber, it's very attractive to be as slim and as weightless as possible. Something like that? I don't know. Remember how I used to do back in the day? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, when back I was in younger. the days of your Alpine 70 plus arm sights. Compared to yeah. this, this gym stuff yeah. was very easy for me. Yeah, 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 that's it. <laughs> he did. It's like, uh, it's like Johnny Dawes kind of says, you know, all the... The modern, the modern climbers, they're, they're, they're not I like, happen uh, to read a little bit of this like book, because like my brother like ordered it. Like Josh, I mean. Yeah, yeah, like Josh. Look at him. <laughs> He's not hardened by the mountains. Your brother's a climber? Yeah. Yeah. My younger brother you loves climbing. And he brought me with him, so got me to buy, uh, <laughs> oh shit, what are they called again? Uh, let me think. It's a Spanish guy. Dunno. He bought, he got me to buy, um, the materials. Yeah, like, materials, oh my god. <laughs> Shoes, and, 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 whatever this is, yeah. But I've never progressed from a level to a higher one. And I stopped enjoying it this year. Yeah, for sure one reason yeah, or other, like that like I'm not gonna this. mention. It's the hardest we have to offer. If you on site that, I can only apologize for everything being too easy. All right, you smash this red out. Oh, that sucks. And then you can tick yeah, a little through. bit. Before you die. Before you die. <laughs> Maybe I can climb outside instead. Jacob. Hi! Jacob, you're here! Bro, I haven't seen you in a while. I thought we'd lost you. That's it. Come on. <laughs> Kitchen. That's it. Yeah, man. Sweet. Oh, sweet. Come on. Really good. How the teacher, does, how the secure does not know or suspect something being wrong. Like, now he's using a lot of techniques. Like before he was fake shaking. How you been doing, Jacob? Lovely. Lovely. I think it's pretty that. obvious. Uh, it's too hard for an old man, you know? It's too hard for an old man. But if this was 20 years ago, I would do easily. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's, I would do easily. <laughs> I'm sure you would, yeah. <laughs> All right, so when did you know? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good effort. It seemed one. like you knew a couple of weeks ago already. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I knew already. I did. Yeah. But it was good. So I, re I had a great time. I really enjoyed it. Going through all this, you know, I was three hours <laughs> makeup. <laughs> I enjoyed your massive falls as well. That was yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I was like, because you didn't seem to be scared at all for me, you know? So no, I was like, no, okay, no. this guy knows that something's up. <laughs> how, do you, how could you tell? No. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you don't look. You don't look that different. Yeah. I mean, you look different. You look different. It's a good disguise, yeah. but I don't know. I can kind of put two and two together. Well, I had we, a good time we though. We couldn't fool him. You played along though. He yeah. didn't tell us anything, <laughs> so we were just going with it. Yeah. All right. It was, it was good fun. Yeah. All right. Yes, good coach. Yeah, you've been working a lot. Didn't you have vacation last time you were here? I feel like you had a vacation or something like that. You were off work? Maybe not a vacation, but you were definitely definitely off work. Maybe. Maybe that was last time. <sighs> Can American tell who is a foreigner just by their English? Not always. Not always. You have a family ring. And not even. In America, where is your family's ring? They can't always tell. 
Can I? Okay. But. Sure was. She. I remembered. Wow. Ah, impressed. By myself. Hi, my name is Luisa. Today. Hi, my name is Luisa. And today I'm in Paris to try the top five. You're gonna go to bed after some dinner? And I'm gonna go to bed. Without dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Without dinner. Oh. Oh. Without dinner. Oh. Okay. Well, I gonna I'm gonna go offline. Since uh, Stone got his mask. The rabbit mask. Coolest mask ever. Am I punishing myself? No. No. I would never do that. I would never punish myself with going no dinner. Can I ask the honourable gentleman what work is being done to make sure that this place is more accessible, particularly for some of our colleagues who have a disability? Here, here. I'm sorry. It must be something to do with my antipathy and background. Could you please get better? I, didn't I understood it. <laughs> Fine tune your ears. Um, I'm saying that a number of parliamentary colleagues who have disabilities do find it quite difficult getting around certain parts of the state. Given that we're doing this refurbishment work, what can be done to make sure that those with a disability are, are able to move around more freely and the place is accessible? I'm really sorry. Skill issue! Please, could you do it very slowly? Is there anything? Yeah, it's understandable. I think the answer might be helped if you can reply in writing when you read. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I'll, I'll try it on the first go. Nah. Can I? Can I? Because I'm Welsh, so God help him. <laughs> that was funny. Ah, he's awesome. Your wish means shut up, which is probably what I should do right now. <gasps> I first saw this guy in Phantom of the Opera. I'm Gerard Butler and or maybe it was 300. Meh. Nah, nah. Maybe. Meh. Nah. I choose to believe it was Phantom of the Opera. Is a shopping cart. Also, to be off your trolley means you're out your head, you're very drunk, you was off your fucking trolley. Uh, and then you can. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm going to bed. I'm going. I'm going, 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 Bye 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 Somebody writes it down for them, so they literally have it in message form. I'm tired. Bro, me too. <laughs> me too. I'm tired. We're all tired. It is? What the fuck? Alright. Good stream. Yeah, it was fun. It was interesting. I might as well leave Discord too. Yeah, it was interesting. But I don't know how many times we can do it. Well, thank you to everybody who came to my stream today. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for coming to my second stream. 
We survived the suspension. An axe? Right, well, good night. Interesting stream. Unique and unexpected. I kind of expected it. Not kind of, uh, I don't know, but I expected it to be a little bit like that. But now we know each other a little bit better. Second stream did better than the first. Oh, yeah. Sure did. Yeah. You smell rank. You smell rank. You smell. You smell rank. Thanks, PVC. Yeah. So unfair. Not cool. Well, okay. Uh, we are skipping straight to the end of the song. Okay. So you guys have a good night, sleep well. I'll see you next stream, which is on Monday. Okay? Have a good day tomorrow. Good night! Goodbye! <laughs>